Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Friendly Jimmy's podcast. Today, it is uh, the 1st of June. <laughs> okay, Jordan, you're manning Twitch. I think we're live. Yeah? So I'm going to just get on Twitch. And Let's ask see. Are we people. live? Let's just ask people. It's a good start. Uh, <clears throat> As you can play, Bar we Joe's see Ali is here, yeah. and so is Miss Love. Bar Joe's Wait, live. I thought I was Ali. No, are you wearing the headphones? You, oh, can, I'm sorry. Can you do this? You cannot do this. And we are live, yes. Ali okay. is not based by person. It's based by technology. <laughs> <laughs> Ali looks different. You're manning Twitch tonight. You're twitching it up. Hey, are we- Welcome. <laughs> Should we call her Ali? <laughs> is she I'm Ali? So confused, or am I Ali? Ali? <laughs> Who's Ali? But come on, can you do the- Okay, here's the test. Here's the test tongue. Or should I say Ali? And Can people you? are in the comments saying, hello, Tong. <laughs> <laughs> what yes. do you mean, Tong? That's not even how you wait. say my name. <laughs> wait, do you, wait, wait. Have you been telling people that's what you call me? Yeah, of course I have. <laughs> we have two hours to fill up a week. We have no we, want? we have no content today, by the way. So we're going, what, what was it, Jordan? I was going to be like, Flying by the seat of our pants, the show. Live. Let's so. be honest, what episode is it? <laughs> It's just usually someone reads throughout the week and Jordan, that person is not here. Jordan scolded me for only having one camera. I personally, look, now we have two fancy boy, or model boy over here. He has to have his fucking close up. There you go. I think it's a vast improvement. No offense, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, this angle is looking a lot more cinematic than... Well, how was it before? Before it was, it's like, I've been, okay, it was always dead straight and I've been trying to shift it because if you, I don't know if you, if you notice this, you watch a movie, you're in the movies. It's not shot like a fucking, you know, documentary on clams. Oh, it's yeah. not like it's this always, the no, whole fucking time. He's There's like, angles. Like, There's angles. It's the whole, watch a Tarantino movie. It's like fucking through the palm tree. It's it, from, you know, from the fucking, the, it's complete angles. Like feet. There's, so like right now, the, we're in a film. The only example ever is Tarantino films. I think it's the only thing you've ever watched. Just one Pretty film, much. Jackie Brown, and then people have just mislabeled it. A few good men, uh, <laughs> Citizen Kane. <laughs> I've seen film. The Matrix, can't. Wait, can you see that on Twitch? <laughs> Uh, anyway, point is, usually we look like we're in one of those Taliban beheading videos. So I should just do it. Oh, yeah. So it's just like, right. You should, you know, like you'd be, that's what it used to look like. Now, look at that. What do you reckon? Oh, wow. It makes you feel stuff. See? Yeah. Mm. Anyway. Well, I don't know why I'm getting the eye. I just <laughs> wanted two cameras instead of one. So I think I should be getting some of the praise. No, that's why you're getting the eye. No, I feel like that guy that did all of Stanley Kubrick's films behind the scenes and he took all the credit. <laughs> Who the fuck was that? <laughs> I, know, I can't remember his name. Wait, well, there's some guy just like, I can't Jimmy his name. Kubrick. Get the credit. Yeah. No. What it was a Jimmy <laughs> Kubrick. Wait, 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 wait a second. So there was a guy, there was a guy that uh, was on Stanley Kubrick's films that was what, like, did the aperture or was like best boy or grip or cameraman and he... <laughs> And, after and the he movie. secretly wrote all the films. He's kind of like Paul McCartney doing Ringo Starr's <laughs> drumming behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. So you're saying Stanley Kubrick is a fraud? It's a big call. I have and I'm calling that. it now. <laughs> 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 Fuck me. Hey, Panthera. Hey. Anyway, this, we should this, welcome yeah, sorry, our... This is should... a big question that I've got for you two. Okay. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone's saying happy birthday too. Oh, thanks. How'd you know it was my birthday? Remember to speak into oh, the mic, Tom. Sorry. Wait, wait. Don't disrespect to the mic. Do I have to like move <laughs> no, it a you bit closer? Don't move it. Make sure you speak into this Okay, one. there we yeah, go. Yeah, because otherwise you just sound like you're at the top of a mountain, you're a BBC reporter. Listen, doesn't that, isn't that yeah, the same? Yeah, yeah. I'm standing <laughs> low. <laughs> <laughs> you just nailed the voice as well. It's on the top of Thames and the river is thick with eels today. We're hoping to get a few, but you never know your chances in Westminster. <laughs> Um, well, Wait, should I be wearing one of these like, headphones probably, you, to make me look more you professional? You should. You can if you want. Think, you want these? I'll, I'll plug you in. I'll find your thing. Uh, Ali is a little more adverse to actually being able to do this. But I have to say, there's a lot of power with this too. There's a lot of sort of like... Wait, so Jordan and Jordan's the only one that gets a close-up? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's called the Friendly Joys Podcast. It's only fair. 
I'm all up for that. I'm just pissed off that you ragged on my camera. Where's this guy? But, oh yeah, I got Hey, what do the people think? What do you After mean? all, yeah. they are the only critics that matter. Yeah, you can check him. What are they uh, saying about the angles? Ask them. What do, yeah, what do you guys think? Is this better? Like, that's pretty much the same. I think this angle's less Taliban beheading, personally. <laughs> the lighting's a bit shitter, but that's because I only took one light. Damn, so many happy birthday tongue. Oh, thanks, guys. I feel really special. <laughs> Why is this one so short? Wait, uh. No, no, it's all good. Where is... So how are they all? How you all, how's yous all doing out there? Got it, got it. Oh, all good? Um, right, sorry, I should stop looking at the Twitch. Anyway, the point yeah, is, yeah, yeah. let's get back to this. No, no, no. Who how the hell that? are you? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you sitting in Miss Love C? Well, oh, okay. I get this now. So it's just like a casting call, except there's two jokers instead of, Fifty. <laughs> anyway, the the, uh, the floor is all yours, down. Uh, <laughs> What's this for again? Freeze dried coffee. It's always freeze dried. Why is it ever? Hey, I got another question. What the fuck's this? Oh, this is mine. Is this that is the my pepper shaker. No, no, this is just a water bottle. What a time to be alive. Anyway, once a really again, one. what the hell are you doing here again? I'm here because I kind of just was floating around today. I yeah. uh, did some combat work where I was like, you know, just doing a bit of fighting and then came over here because oh, I yeah. didn't have anything else to do. She learned Wing Chun today. Holy shit. For yeah. real? I think that's the good one. The one that actually does do damage. <laughs> right, right, right. I think the rest of them only do damage in Street Fighter. The game? Yeah, I'm pretty sure all other martial arts is a myth. Now, I could be wrong about that. All and this is another big martial. call that I'm making today. <laughs> <laughs> so minutes, many fucking big calls. Did you so know? So many, like, egregious, you know, like, polarizing calls. Stanley Kubrick didn't direct any of his films. There's yeah. only one legitimate kind of kung fu. <laughs> Michael Jackson was why. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Um, but did you guys know, which I what? found out today, that it was created by a woman, a nun? Wing Chun. Yeah. A no, nun? It, yeah, a nun. La- Teresa. Because she, I don't Mother know. Teresa. Wow. Busy scamp, wasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> she made it up. Fighting what? poverty what? by day and crime by, 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 by night. night. Jesus. Okay, what no, that's, that, that, that's, that, I didn't know. That's a, a woman desi- designed it, but surely it was like, an epic, like, you know, in the hills of, like, some Chinese province, like, Yeah, I water. think because she was a woman, they wouldn't teach her martial arts. And so she's like, fine, I will just make up my own. <laughs> really? Because yeah. I heard that Wing Chun awesome. was created by, and this is all just things that I remember my dad saying when I was about seven years old, sitting in traffic <clears> in a car that he didn't have air conditioning for. <laughs> Such a horrible memory. So much That's sweat. So much <laughs> sweat in my current videos. <laughs> yeah, it was your That's greatest memory, right? Him singing Sting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, there was a lot of Sting. But in between him singing the best of, he yeah. would uh, say that it was uh, created by peasants who were trying to defend themselves against China's version of samurais collecting unfair taxes. What? I'm sorry, he's wrong. Is he? Yeah. Can I are just... you sure or are you sure that, like, <coughs> what if you're wrong? You weren't there. <laughs> no, I wasn't. And you were. But after, are you calling it? But you after doing, better than my dad? After doing Wing Chun for just <laughs> one day, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to say too. very confidently that he's wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fair, fair. I, I just realised too, this is, the, this is the part of your show where we're supposed to, what's that? Talk to the audience. Oh, oh this is always death. hell. But, uh, death. Oh, but okay. we are supposed to answer some questions and then we can get into more stuff. It's supposed to be the first half hour because otherwise I get all uppity. I don't I, know if I've you got, got the first question. Tong, why are you disrespecting me? There'll be time for that after. <laughs> hey, this is basically... I don't even want to... I don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> this is basically an insight into... I don't into, disrespect into, anyone, okay? This is all you, so shut up. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, is going to be an insight into like everyone's personal lives. The cameras... This conversation would be exactly the same if the cameras weren't on, hey? Like, it'd be yeah. the same. Yes. There'd just be yeah. more of this in between. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> BLH. Anyway, I don't know if you know this, Tong, but 
Tong, but how do you tell people that's spelled? I haven't told anyone. T o n g. How do you like say it properly? Tongs. <laughs> tongs. Yeah. How do you? Let's clear this up, okay. and then we'll get into how how do you say it? My in in in, in legit in the yeah yeah it's tong, which does not sound like tong. Hey, hey, I'm just hey. saying. Wait wait wait. <laughs> Can I, wait, let me try. We're all gonna try. Hey, tong, tong. Fuck, that's hard. No, yeah, you're not getting the yeah. ending right. Tong. Tong. Kind of. Tung, yeah yeah tung, yeah. Tong. Hey. That's hard, man. I thought Croatian was hard. I can't do it. T. Yeah, sort I, of. You've got a T. Sort of. You've got a T. <laughs> See, how much easier it is to say tongue. That's how, you it's know what, even easier you know what, than two. You know what you just sounded like then? You sounded like you fell down a long set of stairs and then got up and had a hankering for some tea. For tong? What? No, no. What? What do you mean? You f- before, when you were trying to pronounce Sue's name properly, you sounded like you fell down a long set of stairs, yeah. uh-huh. instantly got up and then asked for tea. Look, I know what you're saying. And, uh, <laughs> this, I, is I think that we, this is live. This is live. This is live. Look, let's just go a little bit further. It does sound like it. Come on. And that's the other reason I don't like saying it. It makes it sound like you have brain damage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, Ali's not not here. Shut up. Ali's not here. Let's all play it safe now. Uh, Is Ali usually the one that tempers everyone? Ali's got a natural... no, he's not that. He's just Henry Kissinger sitting yeah. in the room with a madman like Nixon saying, I think I'm going to drop the big one on Charlie. What do you think about that? I would strongly advise against you. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a very, he's got a very like calm demeanor of like a calm father. Oh, yeah. You look over, even, you know, he's got that demeanor. So he's kind of just like, well, he's da- dad. dad's here. So let's yeah, not yeah, go yeah. too crazy, <laughs> you know. Um, and that's why we put you here. Why? But so it's you not guys- working. Wait, what? so you guys can go crazy? Or no, are you but no, we shouldn't. We can't go crazy. Just pretend we're on play school. Like, la, 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 la. Where's Jemima? There it is. Here she is. Where's Jemima? He's very... What if, oh, Jemima. That's a nice thing to say, Jemima. <laughs> BHL, <laughs> BHL underscore guitar said, Wing Chun works when you're trapped in a doorway. doorway and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> do you care to expand? What does that well, do mean? Do you care to expand? I don't know. Trapped in a doorway. Um... Oh, like are you, are you talking about like description. if you're trapped in like a coffin or something no, and you're trying to, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Because this. basically the movements are, you don't go from like, you know, full brute force and energy, brute force yeah, and energy. Okay. You kind of like go from here, you can just be like, and then, you know, the person goes flying. Oh, so it's like Bruce Lee's vibe. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Is Bruce Lee, did Bruce no, Lee? No, Bruce Lee created his own, but I think he's, he started with. Oh, sorry. Be Mike sorry, sorry. Um, wow, that was amazing. So it wasn't designed by a nun or Chinese peasants. It was designed Bruce by someone Lee. who wanted to beat up a door. <laughs> <laughs> What's oh, the point? That is fucking gold. Why would you do it's, this? Like, no, no it's just be in that situation not, no, where you're just like, power, like huh? the power comes from a different oh, yeah, that's place. Right. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Yeah. It's so. weird that you are a martial arts expert now. Oh no, I'm not, I'm not an expert. That's such a big call. A martial. Okay, do it on me right now. I punch can't. Me, punch me. Punch you. Yeah. Do do a move. Like a, maybe not in the chest. Don't kill me. Yeah, do the chest. Okay, go fuck it. Is right it in the hurt? heart. Well, any, I don't know any moves that. Do like, you know how to punch? Yeah, I do. Oh, too. Do the little and uh, do your little kiss of death. Oh, go on. What the hell's that? She does this on me all the time. Whenever she's angry. Oh God, is it gonna <laughs> hurt? I'm angry is it gonna hurt? <clears throat> do it. No, it, it won't hurt. But okay. it what do just I do? Be like, like, just, just. Yeah. <laughs> 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 she's killed me. It's so annoying. <laughs> Holy shit! Seeing That's her little like... teeny face come up and go. <laughs> <laughs> and pushing your esophagus. You know what? You just find different pressure points. You are never going to get raped <laughs> in a dark alley. Because that's yeah, true, it does. That's going to work. Seriously, that's a good defense. <coughs> like, if you decide, boom. Because, like, I've actually had times where, like, I've been, um, I've been in, 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 like, more times than one in a situation with, like, one of those annoying, dready, socialist rebels that's trying to take down the system by exploiting the system and it's too lazy to work and they even though they get a lot of money from Centrelink but fuck the man I've gotten really <laughs> close to fighting those people because they piss me off and every it's a really long story but every it's, time I've gotten close yeah I've it's so convoluted I've always 
um, thought about if I'm going to go for a hit. Boom! Right in the neck. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. But anyway. So, hey, so your instincts are as good as the nun that came up with Wing Chun. I wouldn't say it's the instinct. It's more just like thinking about it. I'm like, I can prick. The neck will hurt. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, it's more like that. So it's kind of instinctual, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're flying you... home to the northern hemisphere for winter. That's what's happening there. You know that there's something that you're supposed to do. Correct. Correct. What? Correct. Right. Correct. Do you let him exist. You know? No, no, that doesn't seem right. Exactly. No. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> yeah. um, well, what stops you? Oh, uh, look. <clears throat> there's been only a few times. I'm a lover, not a fighter. But there's only been a few times in my life where I've been in a situation where it's like it's like. Seems as if it's going to be a fight. And nearly every time I've regretted not punching on. So what I'm saying is, mm. stay out of my way. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. I'll think about beating you up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old, I'm angry, and there's a tick to box. And I hope your face isn't in the way. Well, uh, No, no, no. But, you know, I, I didn't do it because uh, it's quite awkward fighting. <laughs> Well, like you had the most experience out of all of us. I have. Really? Have you been in a fight? I cried my way out of a fight. Fuck. But Wait, that's one of the very school? limited stories I have about my life. Yes. <laughs> so I've already gone into that. Yulmaz tried to beat me up. He looked really nervous and uncomfortable Yulmaz. about it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember this episode. Yulmaz couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag. Yes, but I would not put my chances up against a wet paper bag. <laughs> I'd probably lose. Oh, God. I'd Just definitely choke lose on against it? you now. You're like a red belt or something in one of those. Oh, no. Thoughts. No, I'm going for my orange. Pretty much oh. you are and do look like the small Asian girl in Tekken. And that's pretty much <laughs> Which one? Jun? Like. <laughs> Is it Jun? J U no J U N is that no her? no that's the Native Min American Xiao Yu. it's like it's like no no I think that's her name isn't it June or something no it's like X I oh Xiao Yu oh Xiao Yu uh, yeah, Xiao Lin Xiao Lin yeah 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 I think it's oh Xiao Lu one of those two yeah yeah. Yeah, you pretty much are. <laughs> but she <laughs> she's a great fighter. She, she she always, crazy you know, she's always dream. hanging around with that big panda. That's yeah. Zeus. Holy! Oh my shit. god! That's, your life. <laughs> that's very. Cute. <laughs> uh, you're not this wrong. This is my book head. <laughs> um, I, we'll keep going with these. This one's selfish of me, but I have to, I have to answer this. Tom Courtney, Miss Love, ro- <laughs> rocking a Les Paul at your gig last weekend. Please explain. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you better explain that. Oh, That's yeah. That's very out of character for you. Even you know that. Yeah. Um, look, I've, I'm going through a conundrum here, people. I love uh, to you. I might as well be speaking a different language here. I'm sorry, it won't be long. But I'm a single coils guy. Have been for a while. Was fixing up my mates Les Paul. You know, obviously too. You know, you know, you know they're humbucker guitars, not single coils. Mm-hmm. Uh, started playing it. I grew up playing those kind of guitars. So it was like putting on an old pair of jeans. I mean, like oh, like you just put them on. You're just like, I remember this. Ah, oh, they're so snug. So easy. So, so, and then I was playing at home and I was rocking out <laughs> with the Les. And, uh, dude, I like them. They're good guitars. Excuse me. I like them. Yeah. I know. And then, and then I was just like, shits and giggles. Yeah. Let's try it live, innit? And, uh, I was playing it. It was a two piece anyway. So I was like, bigger sound. And, uh, look, nothing's conclusive, but that's, that's what happened. You, you're, you're, this is like Watergate for you, isn't it? Well, I'm very because I just look. You really don't understand. <clears throat> this, this is the routine of our day together, <laughs> right? <laughs> I get in. Miss Love is looking at pedals. I go do some work. <laughs> I come back. He's looking at amps, right? <laughs> And in between that, when this we go and so get lunch, unfair. he tells me again, it's, you know what it is? It's pretty much just if ACDC <laughs> was a conversation instead of a band. Because you'll just sit there, and, except for the, the exact opposite as well, because ACDC loves the Marshall stack. That's true. I'm, and not, doing, I'm not doing that. I'm not crossing that bridge. Yeah, but. you've always got that point of just being like, hey, look, she's 100 Marshall stacks. Only one of them's plugged in. So what's the extra 99 doing? Here? It's all theater, isn't it? Yeah, that's Hollywood for you. It's just <laughs> Marshall Stacks and Les Paul hate 
every day. Constant bitching about it. And in classic Miss Love style, years down the track, he completely changes these newfound, deeply held opinions in literally seconds. And now he's, what? So you are a big, big fan of Liz Paul now, are you? It'll just be you next to uh, fucking... Oh, I thought, okay, yeah. Well, I thought we, it was... Um, who are you going to say? <clears throat> Tash Sultana. I thought she was the one advertising it. And then the next time you open up that JB Hi-Fi magazine, it'll be you. <laughs> Pretty sweet sound. Who's Les Paul? <laughs> He's fucking cracking. This, guy, this guy's a cracker right now. I'm telling you. He's a cracker. Who's um, Les Paul? Oh, just some old geezer. They're all old geezers that okay. made guitars in the 50s. So like, what I did was, there was an old abandoned uh, fishing rod that I found in Mississippi. I tied it up to the back of my truck. When I pulled it off, some of the wooden planks were on it still. Then I got hit by lightning, and then I started, and I wrote the riff for a whole lot of love, and the rest is history. It's all that kind of shit. You know, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like every entrepreneur, every business in the 40s, this is probably incorrect, but every time I read about a business that started in, like, the good old days, FDR, you know, 30s, 40s, yeah. <clears throat> it's always shit like, Jimmy D. Cricket accidentally dropped a, a fucking cheeseburger in the deep fryer. And then the legend was born. Deep fried cheeseburger. Yeah, sweet. How much is that worth today? Seventy billion dollars. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They always it's, have it's that so, story. It's so fucking annoying. Uh, like even when we went to um I think it was Ali was there. Fuck. Where do we get Carl's Jr. and Ali had it for breakfast, the the, yeah. the weapon. Jesus Christ. Isn't that one of the saddest <laughs> things Wait, you've ever heard in like your life? Like a burger or Love you, Ali. Yeah, but not just a I think burger. it's great. I think it's fucking the, the boss. I like leftover burger from do. last, from the night Because that's before. the thing. You're just in awe at him. You yeah. aspire to be Yale. That's true. Huh? Leftover burger from the night before. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. This was fresh. <laughs> he had the decision of going to, it was a food court. He could go <laughs> anywhere he Where wanted. were we? <laughs> Queensland? It was Brisbane. Brisbane. I think that's the only place in Australia that has a Carl's Jr., yeah. I'm sure now in Western Australia is going to be someone raising their hair going, eh, 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 not so fast. <laughs> Carl Senior. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, uh, the point is that's the saddest breakfast I've ever seen apart from one of my editors who shall remain nameless. Oh, I know who it is. Who bought Red <clears throat> Rooster Chicken <laughs> Poplars. What the hell? Oh, no, no, but what's it called again? Buttermilk Chicken Bits. No. First thing in the morning. That was his breakfast. No. So it was the knockoff popcorn chicken <laughs> that Red Rooster tried. It failed. And then they continued their gradual design of ending up in the graveyard with Sizzler. You know? <laughs> they just kept going there. I think he must have been the only man on earth that tried them. Fuck. And I remember asking him. I, I just remember there just being silence on the plane back for like half an hour. And then he says out of nowhere, mistakes were made. <laughs> yes! What a king. It's a king. Um, no, but You've <coughs> never done a stupid thing in your life. I've known what? you for eight years. I don't think there's That's any moment that I can yeah. ever say, well, you've really mucked up this time, haven't you? Really? You lummox. Well, lummox. No, no. You've never made any mistakes. Too. I don't think I've she has. I've done plenty of mistakes. What? Um... Can you think of a single mistake one you've time, ever made in your life? One time in a hotel you... Really thought hard about getting rice bubbles, and then last second changed your mind and got cocoa pops. Is that one mistake? You never, you I was even crying. I was crying inside. <laughs> but she's that's never it. Had, I don't think she's ever had cocoa pops because, again, mistakes weren't made. Fuck. Okay, come on. Like, I want to hear this. There has to be something. She got citizenship into this country. Not her parents. She did the dance when she was two years old. She I know the dance. Speak English. It was a baby. Tell the That's story. Why there today. That's a great story. You should tell that story. Go on. This hasn't been told yet. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> this isn't just. Dude, this this is isn't just two live <laughs> Saturday <laughs> night two like every Saturday. Just being like. Otherwise, you know it is Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you know what else is cool about two? Just everyone's just like, fuck. I don't know. I just forty assume, weeks of this. I assume you guys just no. talk about like everyone and everything it's, in your life. So. We do. Oh, yeah, we do. But we save that more for the up late pod. Sign up on Patreon now because oh. that's where, uh, well, it's basically the, the same thing. The secrets are released. I wouldn't say that. It's just kind of like. I would. Okay. What do you say? <clears throat> I'd say it's the same except being like, oh, who's your favorite porn star? <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie. That's most of the episodes. Make sure you sign up. 
It's not up today, but uh, yeah, let's hear. <laughs> so, I, I'd love to go on. <clears throat> How are you, the supreme being? Ah, uh, well, <clears throat> basically, um, when I was young, uh, my parents. Well, we we were living in like a refugee camp for like the first. I don't know, a couple of years of um, my life. So Damn, I was born there. That's heavy. But, you got um, heavy all of a sudden. They, well, I don't know. Jordan just decided Wait to. Wait a sec. You were born in there? Yeah. 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 You didn't know that? What the fuck? Why, why haven't you been on like four corners? That's insane. That's I'll tell you why. Because she's from the Shire. That's yeah, it. I don't know. My life is a bit of a dichotomy. It kind of just jumps from being like really, really yeah. Asian and Vietnamese. And yeah. then the <laughs> other side of it is. I was, you know, I, didn't know I grew that. up in the Shire. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like that. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, it's just like yeah. so No different. Asians have an Aussie bulldog, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. an Aussie dog. True. Yeah, but then my but parents anyway, own on, a Vietnamese on. bakery, so. Which I'm yet to try. <laughs> and you want to try it, it is bulldog. really good. I want to. F- Come down to Cornell, everyone. Golden hot bread. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> no one's fucking coming down to Cronulla. <laughs> See, well, that's what I need. Mean. Like, uh, <laughs> me included. Unless he drags me out there, which is like every fucking week. But yeah, like, you do get dragged down. Yeah, yeah. No, it's nice. It's just, I don't know, as a North Shore person, I get the jitters sometimes down there. But, Are you uh, scared? I don't know. I, I just, just like really like that scared. you're there and the oh, only wow. reason that you're scared is because you're like, oh my God, it's slightly poor. <laughs> sure. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> and it swims across that channel of Tom Ugly's bridge to the poor version of the Shire, Shire. which is St. George. <laughs> And then you're just like, yes, now I'm at home. Middle Eastern chicken. (laughs) (laughs) I must swim to Gloria Jane's cafe. (laughs) Um, Sorry, I interrupted. So you were born there. That's wild. I didn't know that, but. Yeah. um, Well, I was born there because my parents. Well, my parents. Shift over a bit, will you? Just just because you. Just because you. That's the way. I want to see a beautiful Hey, are we supposed to go off air? What are you talking about? We're supposed to go off air in like two minutes, aren't we? Nah. Go on, finish your story. Wait, we're we'll, gonna, I was we've got to start the podcast. This is just a little. Oh, so, okay. I don't, I'm not going to. I think we just keep going because I'll probably click something and be like, the internet is down, you know? So let's just push on. Destroy the internet globally. <laughs> I'll press you stop. You are the Y2K bug. <laughs> Would you be surprised? No, not at all. I wouldn't. At all. <laughs> Would you, you be surprised? Be Would you be surprised if this <laughs> man <laughs> crashed the internet? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what would be really funny? If the way I crashed it was just re-uploading one of those memes of the face, like, mad. I just re-upload that. So, haven't seen that for ages. <laughs> I can just imagine yeah, wait, you. Wait, there might be another channel. We just might be able to get it back on. And now he's uploaded a Pepe meme. <laughs> oh, it's not dick anymore. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So good. Um, oh, you know, that's we're, sick. We're going to push through. But if you want to get a cast in Stone Age life, that'd be awesome. But, <laughs> but, if, but if you want to get a tea or piss or something, just do it. Don't worry. Yeah, well, I do anyway. Just fucking do it. Yeah. Anyway, I'll too, be I'm doing sure, that. Yeah, I'm sure you on. would just get up. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, do you watch this because podcast very, at all, ever? Um, I listen to it sometimes. I'm going to change the lighting. I anyway. don't think that's true. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> <laughs> it's a to say that. I don't watch it, but I listen to it. Well, anyway, sorry. Go on about the fact that you you were you were doing your little pity story about how you were a refugee. I wasn't. I didn't bring this up. I didn't want to bring everyone's mood story. down. <laughs> and Jordan just like suddenly just no, throws no, 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 me on fine. the spotlight. Wait, what was the what was the point? No, just you know what? I remember the point of story. Uh, we want to hear the dance. Oh, the dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the dance. I mean, you don't have to tell us the whole thing. Okay, it's, but. Oh, it's well, heavy, it's heavy. It's well, my parents, they left after the <laughs> Vietnam War when they were like 16, 17 to um, just travel across the high seas on the boat and stuff and then mm-hmm. ended up in Galang, which is an island in Indonesia, mm. and that's where they met. Right. And, um, yeah, I was born there, but, Shit. you know, we were trying to get sponsorship to different oh, and countries. Also, what? We'll go back to that, but also... <laughs> so good. There's all these gangsters in the camp. Oh, Jesus. The big wigs that kind of work around. Heavy. And then her dad once was saying, I got Tong's mum from a gangster. She wants to be with me, but the gangster want her. And I tell the gangster to go home. And then there's just like a pause. He goes, 
Daddy was a bad man. <laughs> 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 but then oh, you know what legend. the funny thing was after that legend. when no, i was no. talking to my mom mom was like oh no man your dad was like a coward <laughs> every time every time really? he saw this it was the guard he was the guard of the place he would come along trying to like talk to my mom every time my dad saw him, he would just jump into the bushes, leaving my mom. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's a great image of like jumping in the legs last. Like, literally, like, literally the legs just, just like <laughs> out the literally stuff. jumping Fuck. to hide in the bushes. There's something I about can see that. that. Yeah, look, he is pretty much if Miss Love was an Asian man. Just those cats that do this at the front of a Vietnamese restaurant. That's her dad. <laughs> he's yeah. got that kind of I'll, very I'll yeah. yeah he's a very nice sweet natured man yeah. I can't again a lover not a fighter definitely yeah no he's really he does remind me of you really yeah and he also knows that Trump is very strong man <laughs> yes he oh yeah China yeah boss. My, <laughs> yes my dad is a Trump supporter <laughs> <laughs> but it's like it's so funny because in like the game of like you know like whatever you want to call it, like social justice politics, the game, like no one could be angry at it because it's like immigrant, like fleeing war. Like, you know, like who's going to come up to him and be like, you should be better. Like he'd be like, Hey, uh, they do. Died. That's the pathetic thing. Who? They go up to a guy that fled the Vietnamese war as a result of the U S he's walking around wearing a Trump hat. And they're just like, you need to educate yourself. <laughs> Why? Because I heard from Jimmy Fallon that Trump is a racist. <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually you really does. Really need have to know your. Come on, to that cunt. Educate yourself. But yeah. so don't, don't. <laughs> no, well, he actually does have that hat, and he was serving at our bakery once, just wearing it. I mean, come on, that's funny, man. Like, <laughs> you can't, you can't, like, just <laughs> even objectively. And then funny. some guy, yeah, came up and was like, "Huh." Trump supporter, eh? And my dad was just like, mm hmm, he make America great again. <laughs> Read the hat. <laughs> did you say, did you say, Read the hat? Yeah. <laughs> Oh and then God, my mom's ridiculous. just like, oh my God, for the love of God, please. You're embarrassing just like, take, take it off. off. Take the hat off. <laughs> Fuck, it's so good. Damn. Um, <laughs> everyone's saying that your dad's based. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that means? It means they use. What does that mean? I think, I think it means like for the, for the meat and the sandwiches, he uses a good space, like a good stock. The sandwich that the I still don't it's an ongoing it. in joke of I the don't, podcast I don't, I don't that what? Miss Love doesn't understand internet language at all. And okay. so again, I, he might have destroyed the internet by putting this on. We might just be talking to ourselves. <laughs> yeah, we might be. This all could just be an illusion of hackers. But the algorithm, yeah, an uh, illusion, yeah, yeah. But the, it's an ongoing joke that he doesn't know what base is. So I'll have to tell you that after the show. Okay, yeah. but you might have to sort of explain it to me yeah, as finally, well because I'm a little clue. I've heard it before, but like I don't really know internet. Slang. No, no, neither. Well, no. you put him on a pedestal of pretty much being a 15-year-old TikToker celebrity in terms of how little you know oh. about the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's you incredible. Still, you, when you go on the net, do you just, like, when you look something, you just straight away, www.askjeeves.com every time. <laughs> so you still do it, don't you? Well, so I, even that, she wouldn't get Ask Jeeves. <laughs> no, I bet I you she looks at her computer and it's just like, the first... At home desktop, proudly brought to you by Steve Jobs. And it's all green. I bet you that's her computer. Hey, I still hey. use... Uh, Comes up with a green smiley face. Hello, too. <laughs> Fine, you Jordan. I'm going to make you acid. sad. What? What? <laughs> what I was say? just going to say, I, uh, I was just going to make you sad and remind you that when I was younger and used dial-up internet, I would dial up AOL. What was it? Was it AOL? Uh, the dial-up. I dial -up don't internet. know which one. There was a million yeah. of them. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Oh, are you know. talking about ADSL? No, uh, I think it was AOL internet. Okay, yeah, yeah. I well, was just going to remind you about that story of the bookworm. That <laughs> is a sad story. story oh, we didn't even finish your sad story. Oh, oh, let's do that. that. Let's Man, do that. I don't want to be telling like all my sad stories. But anyway, just tell one sad story and we'll get on with it, which was yeah, yeah. that <clears throat> your parents fled to the refugee camp. They met together. 
they had you at some point. Oh yeah, and then so we These were are trying all murky to. details. <laughs> <laughs> were you born? I, we can yeah, skip over that. Some, somewhere along the way, I popped out. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> and then actually, Wait my dad gave me. In the camp, though. Yeah. Yeah, in the camp, in Dude, the camp. That's that is crazy. But anyway, God, I didn't but, know that. That's crazy. Because I was the firstborn child. Um, Hold my, on one sec. Sorry, T L H whatever. Where's Ali? Uh, he's not here. Stupid. Go on. I'm Ali. Yeah. <laughs> what, what are you talking about, dude? I'm right here. No, he's uh, he couldn't make it tonight. Oh, so that was we... actually a really good impersonation. Of Welcome him. to the fr- friendly Jimmy's podcast. I'm pretty good. Maybe a little what? bit high pitch. If it was the same <laughs> pitch as two, but with the same tonality as yours. Wait, wait, that's too crazy. Oh, I, do, I do not sound that high. Turkey, right? no, that's spot on. Turkey invaded Babylonia. Um. I know. <laughs> Far Sorry, right, everyone's no. telling me to shut so up. And let everyone, me it, tell you every, about a country you don't care about <laughs> at all. Everyone's telling me to shut up and say, literally everyone's like, shut up and let her finish her story. So. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, because I was the firstborn child, my parents decided to give me five different names. So my, my legal name is Tran Tan An Tu Nguyen. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 pedal back. I mean, but that that's again. like being called Bob Smith in Vietnam, right? No, that's like, well, the whole thing. Say it is again. Unique. Say it again. The whole. Yeah. Say the whole thing again. Tran. Yeah. Tan An Tu Nguyen. Good, good. I'm learning. Holy shit. So your shit. last name is Nguyen, huh? Yes. <laughs> How long have you been dating? <laughs> I thought it was Tran. <laughs> hey. And the best okay. thing is you've got a one or two shot in Vietnam. It's either going to be Tran or Nguyen. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. Poor corn and you shorten it, it is just Tran Nguyen, but anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, so <clears> they... <throat> Yeah, I was just like really, really special to them. Um, and my dad <laughs> decided to um, shower me in beer because I was so special. special. That's <laughs> right. That right there is why I love Asia. Not to generalize or stereotype, but I assume that's some sort of a, you know, that's just mad. I love that. I mean, like, I think back back in the camp, like beer was a really – yeah. Expensive commodity. Yeah, and it's, so, and it's a celebratory, you know. Yeah, celebratory Aussies thing. do that too, but when you're older and really drunk, so. And you didn't bathe in it, so. Yeah. <laughs> There's that. So what happened? Yeah, so he, um, you know, they would just like hold parties for my first birthday and things like that. And my dad's always saying, oh, we hold a very big party for you too. We got heaps of Heineken beer. Very special. <laughs> He's so sweet. I love him. I, I fucking love him. Wait, that's not the story. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. I got um, sidetracked. The story what is... What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you got sidetracked by us constantly sidetracking you. Unbelievable. <laughs> How many pods have you been on? Yeah, pick it I up, I just too. can't keep up, guys. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're doing very well. You're nice. natural, honey. <laughs> but go on, yeah. Um, What's the story that you want me to tell? I'll tell it. Look, she, she, it was just... When you were <laughs> applying for visas to countries, your family came to Australian customs and so they just go in front of some hardened immigration officer going, what is your name? What is your age? They're looking at that. Oh, yeah, They've got yeah. two parents sitting there that have no education, no English, so obviously they're at the bottom of the rung. And then yep. home is a two-year-old baby and she just starts doing a little dance in front of this hardened customs officer that just goes like, okay, you can come in. <laughs> Isn't that well, amazing? I and then that's why, because they, they, they've always <laughs> said this to her entire life. They're always just like, I always knew Tong was special. <laughs> how is she not special? She was bathed in beer. That's true. <laughs> She knows how to do little dances. How yeah. many other toddlers do that? Now she's going. And now she's, she's, I dance she's, my way into yeah. the country. She's about dance to. Your way. That's what amazing. a happy person. She's about to. Jesus, crack it. move over, on Doe, with world's happiest refugee. Yeah, come on. Yeah, and you're about to crack it into Hollywood. You're a bloody talented one. I can. Can you? Recreate the dance for me live now. Oh, I can't. I bet you you could recreate it better than she could. Your yeah, dancing would... style would be closer to hers too. I reckon. I think it'd be something. Just... So, something. Yeah, sort of like... I reckon it would. I reckon it probably was like. 
<laughs> that is so good. Just really oh, groovy. Gosh. But back then I was grooving to like Vietnamese folk music. So. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I, I, and watching wrestling. Really? With my dad. Yeah. What, like mm. American wrestling or like? Um, yeah, the the fake been. one. Yeah, yeah, it would have been. What was it? We had gladiators. Yeah, WWE. Yeah, 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 I don't think they one. were watching Greco-Roman, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that widely broadcast. I don't think so. Um, yeah, that's mad. And I, uh, you know, not to. Uh, hey, that's to another cute story about that. Go on. <laughs> well, we were. They had fuck all shirts because they were refugees, but they'd all just watch wrestling around one little black and white TV. Damn. 30 guys. And then their little trick when they were all just getting amped up was always, Tong, rip off your shirt like the Hulk. Because one of the guys was like, come on stage. <laughs> yeah, one and of the guys two. was just like famous for that. Wasn't oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like each of them Hulk, had Hulk, their uh, own. Hulk Hogan, Hollywood. Yeah, Hulk yeah. Hogan. So he would just be like, ah, yeah. yeah. And so that would just be like, do, do, do the Hulk, do the Hulk. And then I'd just like stand up in the middle of the room and be like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and then all these like buddies. Vietnamese people are like, yeah! <laughs> hey, this and then she can't sound like fun. I know. <laughs> they sound sick. They sound great. They sound better than a you know party what? in Jay Newtown. Comes in, he's, like, he's like, Jordan, look at this. And then someone's filmed the camp. And it obviously looks shit because it was a refugee right. camp. But he's looking at it being like, not worth the days. No way. Yeah. Damn. No, he's just a very sentimental man because I think he he's views he's you. He, he's is you. Yeah. he views it as like you know that was the gateway to I suppose a better life. Absolutely, even though it was a shit life while they were living in the camp and it was very difficult. Definitely, um, and it's like and they hardly had any food, but it was just. Fuck. Heavy. I guess that yeah. was what they had to go through in order to be able to, you know, live here now. So it's almost like bitter, very sen- yeah, bittersweet bitter about that it, journey. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that would have been brutal, but like, I suppose it makes it all the sweeter, you know, in the, in, like kicking it in, in, in Cronulla or whatever, like, in, yeah. you know, having it being entrepreneurial and having your own business and just killing a young family. And a yeah, one day I want to take him back because he, he says that the back island, the camp. yeah, because the island's now turned into some sort of, um, not like a... It's like a memorial, I guess, oh, so it's for not, the so refugees. Shit, so it wasn't like fucking Christmas Island or some shit. No, no. <laughs> so did you see? Did you read the? Did you read the? Uh, the uh, like, I can't think. You what know, you, did, did you read the suggestion? No. Okay, what because a lot of people are like, where's the chair? Where's oh. the chair? Bring back the chair. <laughs> I thought that's why you had every right to ask. Yeah, this is. I apologise for its tardiness, yeah. gentlemen. This is his uh, Doctor mm. Evil uh... gamer chair. <laughs> this chair, dude. We need you with a Les Paul being the music guy on the Tonight Show thing. I mean, just be <laughs> like, yeah, just be like, no, mm. <laughs> that's a comfortable chair. We'll just uh, mm. we'll just get a chisel and a hammer, and I'll just chisel a. Gap in your teeth. Tink. Tink. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Once I do this for like 30 seconds after a joke, just being like, the president flew into Baghdad today and everything was cloudy with a chance of explosion. <laughs> <laughs> so the first guest to share. <laughs> can, we, can we actually... <laughs> That was a, that was an awesome story too. But can we actually <laughs> dive into uh, your newfound obsession with the late night talk show host world? Like, what is this? I'm just catching up now. Apparently, Jay Leno and Conan O'Brien don't like each other. For fuck's sake! Thought <laughs> too. Every is single like thing. Did you know? Do you know who night Jay show? Leno is? <laughs> no, but I know Conan O'Brien. <laughs> You're so uh, cute. Go back to the camp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not and, know and, that? And this, and this will be the time we say the magic word, Panthera. <laughs> do you know about that too? If there's anything cancel worthy, I won't explain it, but just say the word Panthera. It's kind of like a blanket uh, get, ja- get out of jail free, free card. card. Um, Jay Leno sucks, so don't feel bad at all. Okay. No, but which, oh, no, which night show hosts do you know? Um. Uh, who's that? <laughs> Look, I don't. I don't watch many late night show hosts. I bet you only know one of them. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Am I actually right about this? I don't Did know. Did the maybe. one that you know, you don't know his name, but you know him because he's on a Ben and Jerry's ice cream carton? <laughs> oh, that guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was thinking, I, hey, I don't know Jordan, anyone's name. Jordan, can you make me a te? Yes, I can. Hong, do you want tea? Yes, please. In, yeah, a, clean, nice. in a clean mug, if that's okay. <laughs> because there this are is- definitely a... A lack of clean mugs in this place. They stain. They stain. Uh, this, I like this. Maybe pod. they're just not washed. This pod's <laughs> very too. With you here, this pod's very sort of like um, all over the place. No, not at all. No, no. Like it's very like. No, if anything, it's more sin. It's probably better. Yeah, but it's, what was that show called? Uh, that shitty show. It was like the the the, the living room. It's like welcome to the living room. Pod. <laughs> but it's just like it's, it's very wholesome. I like it. Oh. Um, yeah, don't feel bad about not. Liking talk show hosts, but the th- on knowing about it. But the well, thing I is, don't know. the only one I know really, and I don't, kind of remember thank his you, name. Thank you, Jordan. Who's the one with like the car karaoke? Oh fuck, the worst one, James Corden. Corden, a, yeah, James uh, Corden. Yeah, he's the worst. But like, this is the one thing. It's interesting. Thank you. This is the one thing. Uh, so basically, throughout throughout our whole relationship, Jordan. Uh, oh yeah, careful, Jordan. Um, is always the one being like into shit and then I'm the four years late and he's like you know I'm always like four years later being like Blade Runner was actually a good movie and he's like it took you half a decade to realize that but this is the exception I have been into like late night talk show hosts for a long time and I watched a fuckload of Letterman I really liked Letterman oh I know Letterman yeah I really liked Conan so I'm the one schooling him on the, I have been, I would say. Well, not really, but I could. So good. Miss Love has a PhD in everything useless. <laughs> the living embodiment of oh. you're always learning. It's just a question of what. what. <laughs> and he has an encyclopedic knowledge of the generation of talk show hosts before the current one, I think. Yes. That's your current batch. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And so, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Letterman's mad, right? Yes. I uh, think he is. Yeah, 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 I think he was one of the best. Obviously, nobody beats Johnny Carson. <laughs> yeah. That guy with the laugh. Yeah, I wish. I I'm were. sorry, but you I know, wish, I who wish. was the real host of that show? I know. <laughs> Name three castaways. I wish I was around to watch uh, Carson. I don't know shit about him, and I'm very sad about that. Isn't that so, amazing that that's the only reason that Miss Love could time, wishes he could time travel? Just to watch Johnny Carson. Live. <laughs> fuck the moon landing. <laughs> fuck fuck all that shit. I want to see you go, hi so, <laughs> And can you blame me? Um, Wait, so Joe, you're watching French it now? Sinatra. What? You're watching it now? You're just following the drama? I'm going back and watching a bunch of Tonight Show hosts because you know what I've discovered? I'm very late to the party on this, but I think it's a dying format. <laughs> and as soon as I find out that something is on its decline, I start getting obsessed with it. Yeah. Don't you reckon? Something you... is a lot more interesting yeah. in the age of rust than it yeah. is in the golden age. I'll pay that. That's probably why you like Rome so much. Yeah. Like I've got two books that I'm reading currently about Rome. One is about the Republic. The other one is about its decline. Yeah. Three guesses which one I'm spending all my time on. <laughs> yeah. And, but I think that's human that's nature as well. M- more guesses than you need because there's only two options. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, <laughs> whoever doesn't get that wrong needs to go back to kindy. Uh, I give Miss Love a go. Is it the Republic? No. Is it the Republic? No. Is it the Republic? No. Oh, thanks for playing. Oh, jeez. I should have got more guesses. Kindy. <laughs> Yay. Milk. Free <laughs> milk. Um. But it is it is more interesting to uh, I understand that it's more interesting to sort of delve into something in when it's in stasis when it's changing like how boring is it when it's just sort of like been going great what's been happening just getting better it's like hmm. but if someone's like going great what's happening now a shark bit my leg off you know it's like what yeah actually now that you put it in those really graphic terms it does make a lot of sense. <laughs> it does. It's just strange thinking. I don't know because you don't know these people, but Conan O'Brien. I, he's the best. He's my favorite. Poll. Poll right now. Twitcheroos. Who's your favorite? Uh, uh, actually, late I want to get this because this is amazing. Go, go. Craig uh, Ferguson and Conan O'Brien were about 200,000 difference in the ratings. Now, 
uh, Miss Love is on Team Coco. Straight up. And I like the fact that Craig Ferguson's sidekick was a gay robotic <laughs> skeleton. That is good. I just couldn't understand and the fact we... that there was a two people dressed as a horse on the side of his studio that is for the entire, I don't know how long it was on, seven years? There was just Why? two people dressed... Because he was a former drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't like the Mighty Boosh. That just is the Mighty Boosh. But it's so much better. Like, this is a talk show. Right. There's a format to this. That's true. That's the Mighty true. Boosh is just BBC3. Yeah, That's is. every episode show on that thing. That's so true. It's like, yeah. where's the absurdity in it? If yeah, anything... Yeah. That's less absurd than the game shows in can Britain. We, can we just really quickly role play like 30 seconds of the Mighty Boosh? Howard, what are you doing? Mm, I'm just looking at this flying carpet that's talking to me at the moment. Hello, hello, hello. What's your name then? Harry. Did you say Sam? No, I said Harry. Sam? Okay, my name's Sam then. Right, yo. Yeah, he's, he's a really good conversationalist. You can't be talking to the carpet. The horse in the stables get jealous, innit? Horse in the stables is jealous, is he? Yeah, Terry. Terry the je- jealous Perry Harry Terry. Terry. <laughs> 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 uh, I always thought that that was a magic sandcastle. Mm. Thought everything was magic, apparently. Uh, nothing really has any purpose or uh, form or really follows any f- physical <laughs> laws at all. It's all a bit meaningless, isn't it? And chucking a very specific reference to Tesco's. Yep, don't know. I wonder why we just got free seasons. I actually love that show, but come on. It's you true. love it, but you hate it. I hate yeah. it. I, I, I love it, but, I, but that's just so apt. It's such an apt <laughs> thing. It, the, the Mighty Bruce was just sort of like, going to pop over to Tesco's. Oh, yeah? Yeah, what are you going to get? Magic carpet. It's just that smash of sort of like working class English esoteric Humor psh, with Frank Zappa. And it was mad at the time. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I do digress. I do g- digress. Um, what the hell were we saying? I want a poll. It's, it's, are it's you too on late. Team Coco or are you with Craig Ferguson? It's too late. What Who's was the better it? late? Oh, they've already. What'd they say? Holy shit. Yeah. <gasps> what? No, okay, there's, it's between Jay, Jimmy, Conan, and Craig. <clears throat> I'm liking what I see. Jay Leno is deservedly at the bottom of the pile, a mere 4% of the vote. It's not done Who yet. Who is the 4% voting for him? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah? Wait, wait, wait. It's what? done. And by oh, a no, landslide, it comes out <laughs> that Jay that Leno. fat, annoying British guy <laughs> in the I'll, States. I'll just- uh, 96%. I'll just show you. You read him out. C- Craig was leading. Now Conan's leading. I'm a happy boy. All right, give me this. Why is Conan better than Craig Ferguson? I'm trying to catch up, but the thing he's was, got red you hair. go for it. Yeah, he's he's. Uh, yeah, but so does James Corden. Yeah, look, he's 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 the ultimate for me. The ultimate late night talk show host. He's he is a walking Simpsons joke. He wrote for The Simpsons. His style, his sense of humor is very, very, very Simpsons esque. When I watch him, I feel like I'm watching you or me or something. He's genuinely funny. He's very approach, like amicable. He seems like a really nice guy. He does seem like And a he's nice self-depreciating guy. and he likes to take the piss and he likes mashing up high and low culture. He's almost like if Bill Burr, you know, went to heart. Well, no, that's a bad example. I don't know. There's just, he's very astute and observant and he's just really good at um, nailing cultural references. He's, I don't know. He's just funny, dude. He's just the master. I think he's the master. I, I find myself laughing so hard with him. I'm just like, oh, I, I really laugh. And then like when I watch like Let Him Out, like, I'm just like, his teeth are kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Never laughed at his jokes. Well, how about <laughs> you like Craig I'm, Ferguson more? Yeah. So it's Conan's Why? winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Co- like Craig Why? Ferguson. I think yeah. Actually, it's over. Does yeah, that mean it's over? Who won? I don't know how this works. What's the A thing surprising down turnaround, it? Jay Leno. <laughs> 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 well look I think it's over Conan won Craig's second But let me just see if it's But what's the stakes? What do you mean the How stakes? How much did he lose by? Oh well Okay look This is why we really need Ali I don't know if he can still vote No it's over It's over I'm pretty uh, sure too Not knowing what Twitch is Would be able we'll to figure that, that out No I can read it Alright do you want me to It's no Conan Conan 54% And it's just Yeah it's over You can't vote And uh 
Sorry, Conan. Fu- Wait, so- oh, no, it's still moving. I think it's still. <laughs> I don't think there has been a more annoying minute of this podcast in its entire history. And there has been many annoying. Sa- minutes. Says you. Well, who who, hey, who, who made opinion, the poll? Huh? Oh, for fuck's sake! It's still going. All right, it's not over. Okay. Uh, I we'll, think we'll te- that we will never know what the end no, results of that. Poll we'll is. check in soon. Dude, Conan is like racing ahead, though. So. Well, why is he getting axed? Everyone's saying, no, he's moving over to HBO for a, a day, a mm. week. Mm. That's a huge demotion. That Here's guy's the getting the boot. Yeah, look, he's on 54 he's now. He's getting 250,000 views a night. Conan's one. Isn't this insane? I get comparable views to Conan O'Brien. Yeah, Maybe dude, not on YouTube, but in terms of just the yeah. views on television, yeah. it's a huge country. Yeah, that's true. And that's he's yeah. a talented man, he but he's just... He's dying. I, dude, this is what I think. Well, how long has he been <clears throat> on Early air for? 80s? Probably 30 years. Ah, uh, well, that's that's probably why. He still got it. <laughs> he still got it, too. You think so? Fuck well, yeah. Well, have you been watching him since... Since I was born? Since you were born? <laughs> uh, no, I have not. But when did you start watching him? To be honest, it was never on free-to-air TV in Australia, which is a... They robbed me. No, so it wasn't since on like Channel YouTube, Go or something, I think. Yeah, but Go's been around for like six months. You know, like it was when we were kids. That's two's go too. You love what? Go. I yeah, like, I, I like used go. to watch like all the movies that were that that showed there. Yeah, I like. It would just be like okay, Back to over. the Future. Repeat. It's over. Yeah. Okay. Conan won fifty four percent. Craig Fer- Ferguson got thirty three percent. And then Jay he's not on air anymore. And then Jay crept in. To 8%. Jay got third and Jimmy Kimmel got 5%. <laughs> Holy Jay shit. Jay Jimmy. I disagree with that. I think I think Jay's the worst. But uh, look. I just think that Jay Leno, apart from what everyone says about him, I don't know if the rumors are true or not, but he seems like a very nice man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, do us a favor and shift more towards that way. That's the way. I know you're getting in your razor chair, but... Um, this is what I think. This is my <clears throat> two cents. <clears throat> Go on. Uh, fucking Counter-Strike Lord. Um, <laughs> uh, Keep up this and I will launch an attack on you. <laughs> you didn't even know the shortcuts in Counter-Strike when we played. You were there clicking the items. Q1, Q2, Q3, C1, C2. I was out of there in five seconds. He's shimmy machine gun or machine gun. And they're both good. Let's go shimmy. I yeah, should, I should be in was, that chair. That was, I should be. You in that should chair. be in that chair. Actually, anyway, such a pathetic thing for me to be proud of. Eh? Uh, anyway, this is what I reckon. Yeah, what do you reckon, dude? I could be wrong here. We all fucking respect and love your work ethic. Christ knows it's it's incredible. But dude, I don't think everyone is necessarily. I mean, look, you're a lot younger than Conan. Conan's like thirty years. I don't think he's being booted. I think he wants to like drink more Baileys or whatever they drink. That that's that Irish cream shit. And uh and like, you know, work less. I think he just like I, I don't wanna do four fucking nights a week. I wanna do uh, one night a night a week and like put all have like put a shit ton of effort into that and make it something because there is something to be said for minimizing someone's minimizing your workload um and making it no, that's, they were saying the same things when he was bumped down from an hour to half an hour. When the fuck was that? Like two years ago. I don't know. I've just okay. gone down this rabbit hole. No, it's no, no. I want to know. Probably. So you, I think that he's just getting slowly edged out. And I don't think that it's anything to do with him. I think it is just another one of those final death rattles of a dinosaur, a huge institution that is just going the way of the dinosaur now. These shows, even if they're on free-to-air, are getting a bit over a million, Mm. you know? Mm. Fallon, I think, is on two. Maybe, But back in the day, Carson would just be like, ooh, we've really got to rethink our (laughs) audience here, folks. We only had 30 million viewers <laughs> last night. <laughs> I think it's time to switch it up from bringing the bald eagle expert to the reptile expert. And we are back up to 60 million. <laughs> <laughs> that was a close call there. Uh, <laughs> what a time. Uh, what? So you think like the whole thing's just dead, like, dying now? 
Yeah. Not just. Mm. It's, I don't think it's just him. I just think that it was because he was on cable. He's the first to go. <clears throat> but you give him five more years, they're all gone. I don't know. I, I just think, think it's I think an interesting right. I think you're probably right. development probably right. in television. It's Look, I it's just don't know how you're going to make money in the future. That's what I'm thinking. How do big productions get financed now? I was thinking that re- recently as well. Did you see that there was that sort of like PSA service announcement that a bunch of uh, Hollywood actors made just being like, please see that movie. Come to the movies. Yeah. Vin Diesel. And it's like some massive budget. And it's just like all the who's, you know, all the stars of today, Mel Gibson, uh, Roger Moore, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, like the guy who died from Fast and the Fury, he came back to life. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, Paul geez, yeah. you know what it is. <laughs> but th- th- I'm saying <laughs> back to life. <laughs> I'm saying it's like this. De- it's like this sort of like from the grab. Of, yeah, they're just sort of like come just... back to the movies. And I love one of my favorite pastimes. Straight up, real talk, yo. Real talk on sway in the mornings. I love going to the movies. Mm. I love the experience. <laughs> I love it. I, it's one of my favorite things. Mm-hmm. But nevertheless, <laughs> love getting deep. <laughs> I'm putting it out there, man. <laughs> but where's the I was the with but? Nike. I went to the movies with Nike. Michelangelo. No, but honestly, I love going to the movies. But <sighs> even with Hollywood now, uh, this is just sort of tying in with the thing with TV. Obviously, TV is not Hollywood. Like, it's not, you know, that. But it seems to be all, this seems to be dying. I'm just reiterating what he said. It seems to be dying. Even that video of just like, please come to the movies. It's like, how desperate are you guys? Like, imagine that in like the... I don't know, 60s, please come on the movie. It's strange, isn't it? Hollywood, to me, just seems like a dying, older, lamer version of a TikTok hype house. Stop it's what doing Hollywood it. keeps being like when they're just like, ah, it we're does. feeding on social media now. Yeah. How old are you? <clears throat> I don't want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's weird? Like when you see all these night show hosts yeah. and they're just saying, uh, Okay, we've got this actor, actress in now, Shaquia De La Hoyo. Mm. I don't know any of these people anymore. Mm. Well, I mean, people actually yeah. do know as social media stars. I mean, we are getting older as well. Now, having stars. said I that, I'm a social media star, so I'm probably just looking into it. Is it really just like having <laughs> a banker in here and just being like, I don't pay attention to any of this. You know who the real stars are? The deputy chairman of the Commonwealth Bank. <laughs> 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 I mean, what, to <laughs> you're in the industry. What do you What do you think about you're, about Hollywood? Well, hey, would you go to Hollywood, or are you just trying to make yourself like um, take me with the you. guy from the castle? Wouldn't that be amazing if she was in the castle remake, just with a moustache, <laughs> being like, "Not over more hair." <laughs> <laughs> the castle two. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be called? The castle two, like a uh, home sweet home. <laughs> You know, have this little thing. Yeah, I actually only just recently watched The Castle because everyone's like, everyone always references it. I'm like, um, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, wait, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you just move it a bit, sorry. So I was like, I think I actually need to go and watch these Australian movies yeah, yeah, that everyone great. always talks about. And yeah, I loved yeah. it. It's a great movie. Yeah. It was so feel good. Yeah. yeah. It, was mm. it is awesome. Yeah. All it those was classics. so sweet, yeah. everyone in there. Yeah. That chopper. It's really sad that that must be the only Australian film that is made in that genre. What other feel-good films are there? And they all hey, kill dude, it, actually, now that I think about nugget. it. The Nugget. Red Dog, The Nugget. Red Dog yeah. was sick. The Nugget. Um, the Dish was <laughs> not sick. <laughs> Why are they all What's called, the like, dish? The Joshy yeah. Droll? What the <laughs> fuck is that What is shit? this, Seinfeld episodes? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I guess the so. with one word. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it, was the, it was the start of the time. It was the 90s, you know? Are all the good ones about, like, underdogs? Yes, is that, of course. Is that pretty much you nailed that. I never even thought about that. That's they all are. They're all the underdog. Yeah, yeah I actually. I, I think actually, we do that really well. I actually, yeah. <laughs> I actually accidentally watched uh, Red Dog Two without ever watching Red Dog One, and I watched it and, and like, this was, is such a mislove thing. I know. <laughs> I watched it <laughs> expecting this masterpiece, and I was just like. What's all the fuss should be having? It's not that fucking. Did good. you think Red Dog Two was Red Dog One? Yes. <laughs> and I was just like, and it, and it was kind of just like. Red Dog did it again. <laughs> Zoom out in like a little room. And I'm just like, wasn't that fucking good? You know? Such but a letdown. Did you go back and watch Red Dog? <laughs> no. <Okay>. Uh, <laughs> and he never just, will. He never will. That's the end of that story. You just completely agreed with Jordan before <laughs> when he said Red Dog is great. And you're like, yeah, yeah, it so is. Well, I've just read a lot about <laughs> okay. it. Okay. 
I assume just read the good. novel. <laughs> just, just the screenplay. He ordered it. He ordered it from Fox Studios in the mail. <laughs> That and fucking uh, The Great Gatsby. Well, <laughs> it's as good as reading the fucking real book, you know. Um, uh, fuck me. God, that's gold. Um, no, but look, back on that. List, okay, Hollywood, I want to hear what you think about that. But also. If I'm going to go. If you're going to go and what you think about it and TV and everything. But to touch on it before, to do that, but to touch on the TV for me. It's very strange, exciting and scary, you know. Because I don't, I don't know if I want, I don't know if I do or don't want to be able to turn the TV on and just watch Doctor Phil. I think I do want to be able to do that, but I'm not sure. And I'm Wait, also but- thankful that the internet is getting bigger because you and I have careers and stuff. You know, obviously. Yes, but you, um, what but- else is not very comforting is turning on the TV late at night <clears throat> and not seeing. Uh, David Letterman do exactly this with this exact horn sound being like Beep! Right, welcome back to the Tonight Show that's sad that that's going it's just that nice little piece of nostalgia that is slowly evaporating from your life and yeah, also let's be honest has been downgraded significantly with Stephen Colbert replacing Letterman I completely agree with it's you it's so weird because every time you looked at Letterman you're like <laughs> his teeth are funny but now, every time I look at Colbert, I have the exact same instinct that you have every time you're around hipsters. Really want to punch that guy in the <laughs> It's not hipsters. It's like <laughs> it's like annoying, like council punk wannabes. But hipsters, uh, yeah, sure, I guess so. But um, yeah, you're right. I don't know. I don't know. So you, I, I guess I am sad that it's changing. But it's just it's such a complicated thing. I'm sad for a bunch of reasons, and I'm happy for a bunch of reasons because it's like, dude. You are like, I think, I think your better half, oh, sorry, not your better half. Your other half is, uh, my better half. Yeah, joking. <laughs> what a joke. Your <laughs> other half is like one of the biggest celebs in nah, this great, right. great wide land. And it's like <laughs> that, uh, you know, that's all the net. And that's, you know, yeah, I think TikTok is fucked and I don't like it, but it's surely it's a good thing that every single creative industry now isn't being determined by some prick with tiny circular glasses and a ponytail that's just on the line. It's like, let's see if you got a fresh sound. Hmm. Nah. Actually, yeah, fuck it. You got a fresh... Yeah, you're in. Millionaire. Speaking of ponytails and circular glasses, hold that thought. Okie dokes. But you know what I'm saying too? Like, What's I've, he doing? I don't know. Who knows? But do, do, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good thing. And there's just like... It's just... It allows people like you guys to pop yeah. up and... Yeah. And it's just so... D- Where is, he? is well, he? Hold on, hold on. We what? need an impromptu impression oh. of you being some 80s record producer. Oh, please. Come on. You say you're trying out for Hollywood. Yeah, this is your audition. <laughs> you're doing the life story of yeah. the Stones. You background music? Oh, you're going to press them again to make them stop. All right, so you have just seen that in a discotheque. I think they were called Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, here we go. I'll give you the... In fact, let's just keep this... You're fulfilling Miss Love's fantasy here. He thought that this is how the music industry still works today. (laughs) I still do. All right, so you have to say that he signed and he's got a number one hit. Let's and see you. Do let's I see your skills. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're the actor. I mean, okay, so okay, you're okay. the you're the talent. You know. So, uh, hope you like the show, man. Uh, you know, we've been rehearsing for a while, and uh, uh, you know, you said that we might have a chance at a, sh- a shot at, at a record deal. What do you think, Miss La Bella Brajic? You got the deal, man. <laughs> Put it there, man. Well done. Fuck yeah. World tour. (laughs) (laughs) God, Miss Love doesn't need a birthday present. No, I don't. 
That was the best 30 second percent he could ever get. And I'm pretty <laughs> same with circular glasses. <laughs> You've got the deal. Honestly, like next time, yeah. In fact, I should just like take DMT and do that in real life and be like, it's happened. <laughs> it's fine, just foaming at the mouth. <laughs> I told you, mom. <laughs> and then I can die happy. That's how I want to die. I got these circular glasses just specifically for that That's moment. So good. So good. <laughs> that was amazing. I didn't know we had that uh, music. Like. <laughs> Yeah, rock and or roll stock from some road fucking free library. Woo! <laughs> um, no, that was rad. That was very rad. Uh, now, thoughts on Hollywood. Dying, not dying, and when you finally get famous and move to L.A., are you thinking Venice or Santa Monica for your mansion? Mm, well, no, I think that, um, yeah, it is sort of, it is dying. I mean, like a lot of productions are coming down to Australia right now, so well, surely that's a good thing. It's, yeah, it's, 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 yeah, not, yeah. A, it's not a mono, thi- whatever you call it. It's not like a monoculture. It's like expanding to other markets. Yeah, I think now it's expanding to other markets, and it's great for all the actors here, obviously, because we can just send in our self tapes. And I think COVID sort of changed everything. It did, eh? Yeah, it, cha- it really changed changed everything. It's yeah. changed. It's just changed sort of how we work and I yeah. hate going into, I mean, I guess everyone always says, oh, I love going into auditions and things like that, but it is nerve wracking walking in and getting just one or two shots. But now, you know, we can just send in self tapes and just do it at home, spend like a lot of time on it. It's um, like a democratization. Much, I think the, so. Yeah. The, and uh, also they can see more people now. <clears throat> yeah. And I don't know if we'll ever go back to in room auditions, maybe just for the callbacks. But, but isn't this just a good thing? Doesn't this, this, just, this just mean that, like, I know they just made another Fast and the Furious, but in theory they'll stop making all that shit? Or would it be that the big Marvel movies are the ones that will only get funded and then, like, the more arty, interesting movies will fall by the wayside? I don't know. Happened, really. Yeah, Has it? I think. Yeah. But that doesn't, that doesn't kill... Fuck, I can't... Is it a good thing? I can't decide. Like, you know, would Drive get made? I don't know. Probably not, but... It'll never die. Like, I suppose. Are you talking things- about like funded, like Hollywood? Funding yeah, funding just- m- movies take cost a lot of fun. No, money. I don't think it will die. I think maybe, maybe movies will be made more for just like Netflix and stuff. They, may- they might just be. See, I don't be know. Going what are their budgets? Like- Netflix budgets? I don't know. They're fucking I'm huge. Down- They're bigger than Hollywood's, dude. Netflix budgets are insane now. Netflix is the new Hollywood. That's amazing because anytime I see a Netflix next to the little clip, I just click to the next thing. Well, and then I click through all of their range and realize, oh, everything on Netflix sucks. Yeah. And then I click out. No, I agree with that. But that's just the old adage of like, mo money doesn't mean it's going to be a better product. Mm. I think that Netflix are finding their feet and that they're sort of just like, I think they just throw ideas at the wall and see what sticks. Because like, well, I suppose actually, in a way, it has given people like two an opportunity to act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking oath, absolutely. There's a lot of money in this now, and so yeah. I suppose that look, Netflix. The way to look at Netflix, I suppose, is Ooh. it's YouTube is kind of taking over television, and Netflix is taking over the cinema. Yeah, exactly. And also, it it just provides like a bigger variety of shows because now they can just kind of say, oh, we'll do one season of this eh, and then ax it and then do like another season of like something completely new. So there's just always, you know, like content coming up, whether or not it ends up doing well or not and being. Yeah, 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 no, totally. Uh, Mambo shirt, Mambo t-shirt just said, Jeff Bezos bought MGM studios. Is that a big company? Yeah. Is that, is that, Hollywood. Well, I'll let you in on a little inside baseball about Jeff Bezos' strategy. Mm. Because we were talking about this. Actually, I don't know if we'll probably... This is probably going to get us in more hot water. Oh, than, uh, well, What's the thing that now is illegal on Twitch all of a sudden? Oh, like people taking boobs? a bath in milk or... <laughs> what? There's always some fetish where they're just like... So stupid. I don't know. I, I really don't understand how this works. Neither do I. It's just twi- there's really not that much difference between Twitch and live Jasmine, and so <laughs> what? I'm to figure it out. I know what that is, and I shouldn't know. So and like so many other things, too, does not know. What <laughs> I know what it is. No, what? Don't. Wait, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> are you talking about live Jasmine? 
I know what this that is. This is my entire oh, relationship with two. This is it. It's amazing. It's like, do you know the Beatles? And she's like, um, the insect. That's, that's what you're, like. you're very sweet. She is. She's don't she, let. It's not a bad a thing. You're a mensch. Um, <laughs> um, Chocolate microscopes. <laughs> Wait, what were we? What were we? What were we on? So you're, you have an inside scoop. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what's banned on Twitch, but I don't know what's banned on Twitch. But this probably will get us banned. Why? But, well, look, when we were doing this with Twitch in their studio, yeah, I was like, this is all very nice, but uh, why are you paying so much money for me to talk to my friends <laughs> 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 and to eat really spicy corn chips? <laughs> Sometimes that was the A material. Yeah. <laughs> and then being like, you, you, one of the producers, you, know you eat one too. Board. It costs someone's wage. Fuck, the new, the new economy is fucking weird. It's so weird. Oh, it was amazing. One season of that cost someone's average wage in Australia. Just us sitting down on a couch. No, it's not right. Doing what we're doing now. It's not right. It's not right. I was like, how do you have this much money? You just throw it at us. I mean, look, we pretty much are the hosts of Top Gear, (laughs) but we're not the hosts of Top Gear. How fast is your Ford Laser, Geordies? You've been driving it for about 13 years. Don't know how it hasn't cocked it. Let's see how many more years she holds on. Yes, and the back window no longer works. That's pretty impressive for a beast like this. I'll never get over those voices. Oh. Are you a fan of those voices oh, no. or not? <laughs> Can you do your impression of Jeremy Clarkson? Yeah, please. Voice? I don't know who that is. He's in English. <laughs> fucking L2. I'm sorry, I'm so get TV in fucking the Shire? <laughs> Isn't it amazing that you are not offended by her not knowing the Beatles, but you are offended wait, by her not knowing Jeremy Clarkson? Wait, was he the a short one? Me. No, no, he was wait, the hang very on. preppy English one that got fired for smacking a sandwich out of somebody's hand. Really? <laughs> Something like that. Did he actually? Yes. <laughs> I'm not. Yes, yes. I, I, really? <laughs> yes. I'm not pulling your leg. What kind of gag I is that? Can't, I, I, I can't tell. Can you imagine if I was? That was the joke. It's like, no, I'm just kidding. But imagine if he did whacking a sandwich. Oh, we have fun here. Anyway. <laughs> Pretty good gag, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I think it's all right. Um, yeah, well, we're getting distracted here. I think you should definitely from what from the thing that you were going to drop a bomb. Yeah, you were going to talk about something. Oh uh, yeah, but maybe maybe <laughs> it's a good ca- no 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 maybe it's a good thing. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe, m- maybe you shouldn't. Maybe Mr. Twitch will just turn around in the chair and it's just a fucking monkey. Just like, no, we won't be doing that. <laughs> no, <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me. Jeff Bezos is a puppet. Oh my God. Yeah, that does make a lot of sense, doesn't it? You know what? Because his business strategy at this point could be cultivated by a chimp. It so would be no difference. It, I know. It's self fulfilling. So you think you shouldn't drop the dime, the bomb? No, it's not. I think this is even public. It's just he has figured out that <clears throat> advertising works best if you just own every channel and product of media on earth. So that's his strategy now. So what, the Murdoch strategy, basically? No, but he's doing the entertainment version of that because he doesn't care who's in power. Uh, but he cares that you buy uh, more impulsive uh, canoe paddles. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> That's his grand he's strategy. Not, he's not for even, you to he's sit not there even one lying. day, click it, and be like, "Oh no, wait, wait!" No. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that's crazy is like, it's not even a joke. No, like, uh, I was I was talking to a dude the other day that. It's not an interesting story, but he was just—he just basically <laughs> figured out that he could buy like records from England cheaper than here. From it, he was like, because he was like, yeah, I was supporting my local record store, but it was like five bucks extra, and then you had to put on um, extra postage. You know, I wasn't doing that. And it's like this. Really, we should look. Ali's here, so we can we can talk about this. I, I'll you know. Actually, I'm Ali, right? We have to talk about Chum politics, but like the broader, this is the broader question, the broader implication of like a, uh, what do you call it? Mono, <clears throat> not monoculture, just, you know, 
two companies running the fucking world. Like soon it'll just be like Air by Amazon. It's not a good thing. It's a very, very, very dangerous thing when every, when two two to three companies run all your socials, then all, all tech, then one runs all your fucking living, all your entertainment, all your clothes, all that, and then there's just I don't know, you know, dwindling public services. It's not good, man. We need a a a a, a starless revolution. Stalin wasn't that bad, man. Like a billion people starving. It wasn't them. It, uh, potatoes are hard to grow in Russia. I'm just I, kidding. That's just what they always say. Uh, yeah, you, you're you're not an actual viewer of this podcast, and I know there's a lot of people that do view the podcast a lot that would love to be in your chair, sucked in. <laughs> but you're never going to be in there. And you know why? Purely because I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> Two, what do you think, though? About what? Do you like that Amazon runs the world? God damn it! No, I don't, but... It makes it really easy to order things. But don't you think we should pay a little bit more and just go to a mom and pap store? I will gladly still go to a record store that's a little bit more expensive and like buy a record there because the guy there is like, you know, has like one of those like fedoras and he's just sort of like, yeah, man. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got Jays at the back. Why do you want that guy to have a good life? I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to that either, but like, I want him I to have really that would be like a his... mum and pop store. It would just be like some hipster store. Yeah, I suppose, but like you know, the point still stands. I don't want Amazon to run everything. God damn it! I don't think that we really have a say in that. I think it's kind of just inevitable. Look, that's <laughs> don't our get society's it further work. away like, from Earth. Now. Well, it just keeps shaking. I don't oh. know where to put it. There we go. It's fine. Hey, hey, chuck it. Not there. You go. There you go. Well, that really solves the Fuck. problem of a yeah. wobbly mic, didn't it? It's wobbling be it fine. around for Is that 30 better? seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like, you know, we can we can have a bit of meaty substance. What do you say to that? What do you attest to that? Do you think Amazon is good or bad? Yeah. Well, apparently... I think it is kind of just like... A go- or is it inevitable? Go. Well, apparently they're spending like $1 billion or something on the Lord of the Rings... No the new Lord of the Rings TV series, Amazon Prime. Wow. Oh, One billion dollars. Are you kidding How me? much would you kill to play Sam Gein? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Frodo. <laughs> Mr. Frodo. You know, it's really... Hey, can I tell you? You know, actually, who you could play well? <laughs> Gollum. Yeah. Gollum. <laughs> 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 what? Oh, that's so fucking terrible. No way. My precious. <laughs> It's pretty much Yoda's voice. <laughs> That's amazing. That was amazing. Oh, that scares me. <laughs> Next time you're having sex, you have to do that. <laughs> no, yes, not yes. more of that. Yeah. Yes, do yes. that, do that. Just before old Jimmy, she's getting his rocks off. Yeah. Look into his eyes and go, my precious. <laughs> yes. Let's be it's honest. Right, let's, be, let's be honest. Gosh, let's, gosh, me, let, let's, be, let's be honest. It'll, it'll make him come harder. <laughs> He'll be very excited. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this got hectic. Um, Damn, one finger up my butt. I know, a back entrance. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pretty, me lord. You'll get your job done. <laughs> yes. What, dude, this is great. Re- Rainmaker just said, no, someone else said it. <laughs> Gobatron, one cock ring to rule them all. No, not cock rings. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, you guys rule. You guys rule. Uh, Fellowship of the Ring. Ring. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> the back entrance. Oh, oh yes. Um, <laughs> you know why? Uh, <laughs> you, you, you like this, this Fellowship. Is <laughs> um. Uh, you'll like this. You'll like this. <laughs> the up late started early. Not wrong. <laughs> Not wrong. Well, uh, <laughs> we all know where this is going to go without our late. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I just tell you something? I think it's really funny. Okay. It's kind of stony humor, but this is how okay. fucked the net is. Someone <clears throat> uh, online has cut every single Lord of the Rings movie <laughs> for when Sam Gan- Samwise says... Uh, every time Samwise mentions that this is as far as he's gone from the Shire, 
Mm. This is four years they've gone from the shore. It's like, this is quite far from home every time they do it. What do they do? I'm going to fuck this up now. They cut it. I can't remember. I fucked it. But they cut it so that every time he says it, they go back to the beginning or something. Basically, the movies go for like 100 hours now. <laughs> so they've, they've cut every scene to be like, this is as far as they've been. This is as far as... Oh, every time he goes, this is as far as I've been, they go back to the beginning or so, something insane. And What, so there's just 200 hours yeah. of footage of... A man online. And it's like got a huge cult follow- following. And I think there's like a mini sort of thing of like... Like he's known for that. Like hard. So if you finish the challenge, it's kind of like eating that huge bowl of ramen. And exactly. Getting it free. Exactly. And it's been finished by like. <laughs> <laughs> so many wow. hours. I really like to meet anyone who's done that. <laughs> Actually, has anyone done? Come on, our Twitch stream. Surely Probably you have one quarter. This is Twitch. Can you? Can I might have fucked that up? Can you tell me the exact details of that? Because and who has watched that? Please, this it is the first I've been to Also, let's be more step. specific about this question. How many of you just finished that challenge before f- switching on to? Twitch? <laughs> tell me about it. Uh, it's a thing. Uh, Jordan, you look while I talk, but uh, Go on. I want the details of that. Tell I, me all. I want to see if anyone has done that or I might have fucked that up, but it's some insane thing where it's just kind of been like, this is as far as I've gone in, in, in the show here and then back to the beginning or something. And Yeah, I don't know, but it, it's, it's insane. It's just like an insane thing. Where, where uh, is someone it? Like says, YouTube? Yeah, I guess so. What the Stig... Writes, I'm pretty sure it's every time Sam, Sam Wise <coughs> takes a step, it reverts back to him saying, That's, the it. That's, what, it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Every Wait. time he steps an extra step, he goes, he goes, this is as far as I've been. Because technically, it's, it's as far as he's ever been. An extra step. So it, every, the movie starts and he goes, oh. and it goes up. So it's okay. normal, 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 normal. This is as far as I've been. And then... This is as far as I've been. This is as far from the beginning. <laughs> this is. <laughs> what? The internet has peaked. Can we? I can't okay. handle any more genius. Imagine uh, the cunt that made it. I I can't imagine him. And he's like, like a would ball he be sitting gas. in his chair? <laughs> what? He'd be sitting in yeah, this chair. Oh, that goes without saying. <laughs> that goes without saying. Yeah. In fact, I probably just subconsciously did it as soon as I bought this chair. Yeah. Could it be yeah. me? Who you just, knows? You just did the sort of like... I mm, wouldn't be surprised if that was channeling. just the collective consciousness of every neckbeard on the net emanating into one being that kind of took the form of someone, you know, and just yeah. ghost did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Either that or as one of your editors. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they're always complaining about being overworked. <laughs> they need to get back to their muse. Thank you, the stick. I fucked that up. I'm not a stick. Uh, but we did get derailed here. Is Amazon bad? <laughs> You got anything Sorry. else you want to talk about? Rome or some shit? Yeah, Whatever. he's been reading like Rome for the past three years. Three years. I think it's been three weeks, hasn't it? I, I, I feel like 30 I'm years. really, really upset. Yes, that's true. You're right. Sorry. 30 years. Well, he well, is just obsessed with Rome. Right. Huh? Yeah. Rome is interesting. Uh, Isn't it? Quite interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now you add indeed. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you know that in Rome <clears throat> there was lines? Wasn't just Africa. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And that concludes the Friendly Geordies podcast forever. I'm going to call. <laughs> <laughs> Never ah, comes back. We, we, all just leave. we all die. We, we turn 97 and, and something pass away. I die. <laughs> That's, dry- it. That's it. it. It's gone. <laughs> you know what? If you did the that. The Roman Empire ended right there. People were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't lead in the water. If you did that, you'd be infinitely more f- epic than our friend who lives a life of, uh, let's say, epicness and always up the always ups the ante week to week. You ending your pot at that point would be more hardcore than his life. And I would honestly that says a lot. And I also agree, knowing all of the stories about that man. Yeah, and I would look at you with devices. with a. Uh, Quiet awe of a genius. Thank you. It's well deserved. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What about this? What about this? Let's up the ante. Not only that, I end the career. And in the John Barillaro case, I just go on the ground like a kitten just doing this. Don't hire on the <laughs> Dude, there's a reason I love this fucker. There's a reason I love this fuck. Just, just, I'll just, do it. Just in, in doing that, how can we up the ante even more? You do that for the she whole time. She comes along and does this to my neck. <laughs> no, she does it to Barilaro. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 abuse, abuse, it's an assassin. Holy shit. Dude, have you got, a, have you got anything? Uh, so good. And then Sydney Morning Herald being like, I don't know what to write. She's a brave refugee yeah. actress, but she also denigrated my boss. <laughs> and then, and then naturally, the soul to say anything. And then naturally, as as uh, as the uh, as the natural process goes, they go, and then apparate into gas that gets sucked into the gas monster, riding the. This is as far as I've gone, Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle, every step, the circle of life. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know what? Our meth friend Panthera. Might have Someone said Panthera. Why? Sorry. Our meth friend might have done that. This is as far as I've gone. It wouldn't surprise me. That <laughs> sounds like something he would do. Jesus Christ! We it's really weird because he kind of lives the life of a neck beard mixed with one of those punks that <clears throat> walks up to Terminator and says, "Hey, nice glasses, George." <laughs> <laughs> I just love that character. I want to live in that time. Why? The 90s were so much I know it's such a hipster point, but the 90s were so much better. Yeah. What were you doing in the 90s? I was wearing my Bartman shirt with my socks up to my fucking calves, like pumps, you know, like fucking baggy shorts, skateboarding around. Bad boy shirts. Bad boy. Uh, so you were, you were a skater? Hot tuna. I was a skater. Flame Boy, you know, World Industries, and yeah, you know, getting telling uh, my best friend that I had a, had a massive crush on a girl in my school, <clears throat> and saying that you, you know, swearing to secrecy, saying like, yeah, you won't tell anyone, and he was like, no, I won't tell anyone. And then did he go and ask her out? And then proceeded to spread it on MSN. To the, from the school <laughs> over from Lane Cove Public. MSN Messenger? The first doxing yeah. in human yeah, history. Yeah, the first doxing. <laughs> he was from Lane Cove Public and he <laughs> spread it, it from Lane Cove Public to St. Michael's and everyone knew. <laughs> and it got to the girl that I liked who was insanely popular and she. I didn't even ask her out. I was too scared, but it was kind of in, it was kind of implied that there was the, the rejection was the Aww. that was the way to go, and that's what happened. And then are I was, you still in contact with her? No, but I have I, I have friends that are. Ask her out. Come on, you're single. She, if she's <coughs> married, just see if she'll leave her husband. <laughs> <laughs> she's one of those. Um, I know she's one. She's she's like gorgeous, but she's one of those like uh, one of those um, really tanned really hot, rich North Shore people. And she's friends with like, you know, the one that used to like be Kyle Sanderlands' assistant or whatever. So there's like no chance in hell. Like it's still way out of my league. If anything, more out of my league. Cause then it was a level playing field. We both had- We're at school. School, both in like rich, rich, like nice area. Like it wasn't just like, who doesn't have a car? It was like 10, you know? If anything now it's just gone boo. <laughs> oh no. So it's like that ad of like, I don't care. <laughs> the was, super? This, yeah, the, the super, super ad. For your life. Uh, little uh, things, big things grow from little embarrassments, right. big yes. embarrassments and grow. And she's just going up at this yeah. elevator just saying like, there's still time, miss. And there's just a little Kyle Sandilands face in there. Just like, you can still be his assistant. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what I was doing. Uh, what were you doing? And what were you doing in the 90s? Uh, in the 90s? Dancing. I was... I was, uh, I had a really bad haircut that Jordan hated. I hated I, that haircut. <laughs> every time he comes over to my place, he's just like, I hate that picture of you. Why? It's so bad. Like the 90s one. 
Yeah, Actually, I just had you know what? It wasn't even the 90s. That was the 2000s. Someone you just said... emo. Yeah, someone just said, I think Miss was thinking of the 2000s. I actually was. Oh, you were? Yeah. So you were thinking... Yeah, because yeah. that would have been... Because <laughs> everything you were describing is Yeah, high it was 2000s. School, right? Right? And MSN existed in 99, didn't it? I think it did, but the, in the 90s... I was born 89, so like 90... Well, oh, yeah, it's just skateboarding and shit. Nothing interesting. Skateboarding. And like, fishing for tadpoles. Well, in the 90s, yeah. I was just yeah. learning English. Learning <laughs> English. Well, actually, well, so was the I. Whole decade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just sat there with your ear cells, and then in two thousand, just a really slow version of that Matrix scene of "I know jujitsu." <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure, you were doing something other than st- actually. No, now that I think about it, you weren't. Were you? You were just studying. Damn, I, I, I was just studying. Yeah, and my timetables. English yeah, they my stressed me out, the time tables. You know, and English. some news about a dog, but yeah. You know, English wasn't my first language either. So I was learning English too. Yeah. Your first I language thought. was Croatian. Yeah. That's hilarious. You Why is that hilarious? You didn't know that? Because. You didn't know that. Even though you are a refugee, how much more immigrant is that? <laughs> Don't you think just being like. Yeah. <laughs> And there's this baby <laughs> sitting there just asking for that, and instead of getting handed a bottle, just handed a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a little uh, little tyke on the on the beaches of Dy. Oh, le- uh, speaking Croatian. My first word was more. What does that Which mean? Means? Mouse. Mm-mm. Mm. It means sausage. No, close. <laughs> you want to guess? Um, teacup. That's a cool guess, but no. <laughs> Ocean. Ocean. Because I, I grew That's up, cool. That's grew, cool. That's grew, a really nice word. Yeah. Wait, before mom and dad? Morning. Yeah. <laughs> because I grew up like on a beach, like D.Y. Because like that was like yeah, yeah. the Australian dream, right? Mum and dad were just yeah. like, I'm going to live on, we're in fucking Australia. We're going to live on the beach. Wait, so did you speak Croatian up until like primary preschool? Pretty much. I didn't, I always asked my parents like, where did I pick, like when and where did I pick it up? But like, you know. Dad was like essentially busy working. Like, yeah, yeah, that's great. Just moving me out of the way. And like, I don't think mum remembers, but like, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think it was just from talking to kids. Yeah. And then you switched over, then started thinking in English. I can't remember. I don't know. But like, I spoke fucking Croatian. It was like Croatian in the, cool. in, 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 the, in the household. Did you walk around in some little outfit that can be best described as a Pinocchio attire? Yes. They dress me up. You know what they dress me up as? What? I'll give you some of my outfits. Mine was just a clown outfit. It was just like a puffy suit. So it was just a one piece like puffy thing just with like frilly ends. I was just like, (laughs) just a little clown (laughs) running around. I'll I'll get these photos. I'll get these photos. Oh my gosh. Did you have one of those 1600 clown hats? No, they they thankfully managed to, didn't go that far. Wait, are these costumes or just literally like what you wear? They would just put me in that. I mean, wear that. No that's why I want to go back in time, just to put that pointy hat on you and then make your face white with those two little black arrows going up and down. And down. Yeah. And then my other favorite was, uh, this is more when I was, this one was more my choice. This thing was my item. It was my revered item. Revered. I can't tell you how much I love this thing. Words can't describe. You know when you, obs- you, know when you have those obsessions as a kid? Mickey Mouse vest. Boom. <laughs> I fucking loved that thing. A vest that had a bunch of Mickey mice on it. A fuckload. It's going. You know what's incredible? You know what's incredible? I had that. Fuck off. And I used to always wear it all the time. Fuck off. And used to beg my parents to go to church just so I had an excuse to wear it. To go to Man, church? Man, fucking, get up, bro. Give me a bro hand check. Look at that shit. Isn't that incredible? That's fucking st- Oh my God, what this the- is so funny. But that's, no wonder we're friends. No wonder we're friends. That's, that's insane. That is insane. We both, I used to beg my, I had a little compartment for it. I had a whole, it was like. It was and that like, was your suited and booted. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my like, you know, constitution of the United States. It was serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, if you're going to go watch the president get inaugurated. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I, guess we, I guess it was always you meant that to was be. church wear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Beg your parents to go to church, yeah. I think yeah. we got it because uh, they... We're going to a wedding 
And so I must have got it in my head because I'd always ask to put it on. They'd be like, no, you'll get it dirty. But I just right. thought that if I go to church, I'll sit there. And I, yeah. you know, That's I very sweet. want to sit through the boring processions just so I could be like, is uh, anyone noticed that this is Mickey Mouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just asking. Can I just put... Can, <laughs> can I just... Can I just, uh, can I just put something to the panel here? Yeah. You and I would have been good friends at that age. Why? Because of the Mickey Mouse vest. Basically. If or do we, you think we would have clawed each other's eyes out? Nah. Like, that's my... <laughs> clawed each other's eyes out? No. You're I listening was... to the Friendly Jimmy's podcast. We have no eyes. <laughs> what, just Event Horizon? Yeah. You, you feel good today too. <laughs> Very nice today too. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, no, we. Sorry. <laughs> no. Just feeling your face. We would have been. I was. A, I was. A, like I was. I had a little bit of a psycho stage, but not. No, never to kids. I was like to people. I was always chill, more or less. So we would have just been like, <gasps> and then Mickey Mouse, boom. We probably would have started a podcast, even though that wasn't that didn't exist then. What would it? No, yeah, yeah, we would have invented Microphones it. Microphones. We would have invented it. Exactly. Yeah, it just would have had zero audience. Zero audience. Would have had the chat on the little tape recorder. Yeah. You know, mm. you had a little frilly dress that you wore when you were... That suit is adorable. That is the exact opposite of all the pictures of you with emo hair. We're like, <laughs> yeah, good Charlotte. <laughs> Fuck. Did you have that stage? Yeah, yeah. I did. I did. I had yeah. that stage. Yeah, where we would just go into like these um, smaller concerts at like Engadine and stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, Sick. listening to Screamo. Well, everyone, look, <laughs> I loved, you know, Limp Biscuit. So we all have our. I know that's fine with. That. In your book, you're like, we're talking about embarrassing things. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the most embarrassing I really went. But look, it's fine, you know. But she had this little dress that was just adorable. But I really liked the part that it scratched you. Oh, yeah. It was just so uncomfortable. Because it's but, just like really scratchy material. But like, you know, it's a princess dress. So <laughs> <laughs> I just hey, like she didn't for have it. any money because she was a refugee. So it really was the Cinderella story. <laughs> you either had rags or that princess dress. And so you that's put so up that Dude, yeah, we're just put, dude yeah, that's way more things, intense. Like, scabs and things like that come from. Well, you definitely, <laughs> you, you definitely win the fucking story of like the immigrant story. Like me just being a kid being like, you know, do you want fish and chips? Yeah. Like you, you win. That's, that's wild. <laughs> she will win all the immigrant stories. Yeah. Apart from the fact that you have, your, your native language is the most immigrant language there is. Very true. It is fun. nothing more than well, anything that sounds Eastern European. Don't you, you sure? Reckon? More than Viet? I feel like Vietnam is like the Croatia no, of don't you Asia. Think that Vietnam is a refugee language. Croatia yeah, is that kind Russia, of like yeah. yep, yep. I want to make it in Australia. I'm sick of farming on crushed rock. I want to see real soil. Sure. But take, just going and be like, take <laughs> this donkey with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just going onto the plane. Clop, 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 clop. Uh, no, definitely, yeah. No, Croatian. You're right. It does have that. It does have that. But you're a freaking Croat too. It's in your blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You are. It's there. Anytime I ever think of an immigrant, uh, th that's just it. Like in my mind, you are not an immigrant unless you had one of those little Hessian hats <laughs> with those overalls coming in. And even though that, I, I don't know if this is the case or not, but I think until 1960, everything was in sepia tone in real life, <laughs> what maybe. Is, what I is, don't know. What does that mean? What's that? Like you that, know that like, like orangey sort of like dirt Filter. It was, wasn't it? I th it, it had to have been. We yeah. weren't there. We don't know. And, and, and then for some reason, when you go down to the markets to buy some, I don't know, Huckleberry, is that a thing? Let's say that's a thing. Just music somehow apparates from the sky. So it's going... <laughs> and also you're way faster. Yeah. <laughs> and their Sunday best actually would have been, unironically as adults, a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the black and white Mickey Mouse. Yes, yes. I had the black and white. Oh. oh. 
Wait, what do you well, mean? Well, there's the he, difference. Well, he was black and white. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, no, but not black and white. Oh, black no, 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 no. My, my bad. My, uh, mine was the same. You know how that is that the, the, like, phase of Mickey Mouse of that happy mouse. Yeah, yeah, I didn't that have that. Didn't have uh, that. Yeah, yeah, I thought you meant, yeah, I had the 90s one too. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that happy mouse. <laughs> and uh, innocent, more innocent, uh, innocent times, man. Yes, they were. Uh, we got we got 15 minutes left. Do you guys have, do um, you have I'm talking, questions? yeah, do you have any questions? Because <laughs> we kind of uh, dodged question time. Fuck off, Barjo. We don't. We don't need you. I watched Good Game. I'm 31. I don't have to keep watching Good Game. Wait, what did Barjo say? No, he's just he's just twitching. Ah, oh, right. We're not watching <laughs> Barjo live. Um, hey, how many Twitch streamers does Barjo? Have? <laughs> hey, wait a sec. I gotta read this. Shout out, Mum. We watched tonight podcast and little tidbit, Mum. It's still going. <laughs> <laughs> don't know why you said watched in past tense because we're live and right it's still now. going. Love you, mum. What did she say? Anything else or that's it? No. <laughs> what an update. Maybe she God, said, what is she, what is no, she there's more. Your mom speak? Did she learn English from a CNN news ticker at the bottom? We watched- Just being like, Leighton Hewitt <laughs> is in the open. Hey, don't make fun of my mum. We watched tonight. We watched tonight, tonight podcast. Make fun of my mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, we watched tonight's podcast and it was really good and clever to put you on as a star of the show instead of current Geordie's affair. I am so proud of you. <laughs> what? I love you, mom. What I'm- did she think that you actually were? That side character in tonight's show is just playing a bass. <laughs> is, that, is that what yeah, you thought? Did it. No, I think what's happened what's is- she I, I, I know what's happened. <sighs> okay, <laughs> she's giving me way too much props. She, I, she she doesn't understand that Ali is like away, and she thinks that I've been promoted or something. <laughs> uh, so she's like, "Now you're the star," and it's like Jordan's still here, and the other camera <gasps> angle still hits him. Like the, the camera doesn't go to me. And I'm not there just being like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah Jeff Bezos, she's your worry." Like anyway, that's very. St- but nevertheless, <laughs> that's very sweet. All right, all right. I think it's time. What's this? Is your mum like mom really loud at you? officially she promoted to being <laughs> Ali. Ali is demoted to Miss Love for the next podcast. Okay, so that's right. what you get for missing out. All right, out. fine, fine. Next one. I'll- hey, I think I'm doing pretty well. Look, I'm even getting more creative. Ready? Yeah, Ali never did that. That's all the time we, we have for today, that. folks. I want to thank once again to you, Ed, for being here. Miss Love Bella Bradjik, how did you feel having your first night as being the head of cameras? Man, I, I just got to say it's been crazy moving to New York City. The Big Apple, man. Crazy. Yeah. He's a West Coast boy. He's a West Coast Woo! boy. I got to say, the surf here is not as good, though. Rockaway. There's no, no, no surfing yeah. Rockaway. Uh, you're surfing in the Brooklyn River? I'd advise you against that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mom, though. You're very sweet. So I wonder if she sweet. messages back. She's like, you did very good. Uh, but Twitch, what you got for us? This is a rare fucking moment. You get Tong Anna Tran Nguyen <laughs> from freaking South Sydney. Yes, there's a South Sydney now. Shout out, shout out. Uh, what is it? China? Hot, what? Hot. The, 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 what's your? The, hot bread. What's the place oh, called? Oh, oh. Hot bread. <laughs> no. Golden hot bread. Shout out golden hot bread. You, this is, Check me out. This is, this is once in a lifetime. <laughs> you got some questions for Tom or not? Like, come on. You, you guys fucking hell. Mice plague. No, that's. Well, what, what's your opinion on mice plague too? <laughs> well, my friend actually went camping out somewhere near like Orange or something like that. Glamping actually, so it was it was meant oh, to be shit. more like upmarket, but then like all the mice just like <laughs> rolled in. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to shit. Ate Are Ready you to fucking shit. Shit. Just, just just kind of out, like <laughs> That's that's intense. Yeah, it's really intense. It's hey, just hey, like gross. Just intense. Like- no pun intended. Because <laughs> they'll stay in tent, right? Oh, oh right, right, yes. Yeah, right, yes. Really oh, sorry, this sorry, should I be just, my show. Just, Come on, this should be my show. <laughs> 
Um, Your mum writes back and it's just like, wow, great joke. <laughs> great joke. <laughs> That's basically what happens. But, um, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not at that age where it's like way too sad. Like 31 is sad, but like I feel like if you're 40 and your what? mom's like- if your mum writes that Yeah. You, my parents wrote that to me just like the other day on my 30th. What, saying good job? Well, that, Great that, job on the podcast. <laughs> Specifically that. Are you, good, hey, are you, good on you for your promotion. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are your parents, do you reckon your parents are watching right now? That oh, would no. be so they funny. They would be in bed. Just, uh, what is it? Benoit being like, talk more about how great the US is. <laughs> no, 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 the other one. She doesn't like the US, right? No, she loves She the loves, US. The, she US. loves yeah. the US. Yeah. Right, right. yeah. I think every Vietnamese in Australia loves the US. Yeah, well, mm. they, they, they would have to. Not that would have to, but it just makes sense that they would because they were fighting against the Viet Cong mm. and that's why they decided to leave. And that's why they got like political refugee status. See, this is what Gough Whitlam was saying. Everyone's going, like, can you believe how racist he was? He wasn't going to let in any Vietnamese. <laughs> yeah, they all started voting for the Libs. Well, that's, you know what's interesting about that? That seems. And he saw it in advance. Yeah. That seems to be the trend with the, the immigrants. No, my mom doesn't. What does she vote? She no. listens to me. I oh, know. How good is that? <laughs> she's just like, nah. I don't want to get fine. Who do I vote for? And then she says, <laughs> Labour. She's like, okay. Now, who wants Roe? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking And she should be voting Labour. <laughs> yeah, she should be. You know? Um, no, I think, no, my dad, he's a swing voter. <laughs> right, exactly. Right, right. Your dad votes for whoever Channel Nine tells him to vote for. Yeah. No, not even that. Vietnamese radio. Yeah, he listens that to is... Vietnamese. Like, okay. Oh, that's a soothing sound. I love that. What? Him listening to Vietnamese Alan Jones. Wow. Which is just a really shrill woman being like, <laughs> "That's the best sound to wake up to in the morning." I bet. Love. Good morning, Vietnam. Yeah, either that, or to my grandma smashing crabs. What? In the morning. First <laughs> Smashing. The morning. You can smash crabs? Don't you think that beats <laughs> Ali eating Carl's Jr.? <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. That was very happy. I, I was very happy with that. Just like, <laughs> at 9 a.m. I was fucking happy about don't that. Don't you think it's something even more that's just like, my eyes are groggy. I'm not mm. going to get a juice. Here's how I'm going to start my day. I'm going to bash crabs, <laughs> get juice out of that. And no. drink it, I assume. No, she, no, no, she, no, no, no. She's bashing <laughs> crabs so that, like, she can make something like, like some soup later on. Uh, this, like, I don't know how to say it, but it's, um, it's like a noodle soup that stock based. It was, it was making a base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so she was circle. just kind of based like Benoit. based <laughs> Benoit, and she is based. based. Um, that's. Fucking bizarre. Smashing yeah, no, it's, 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 it's really bizarre. There are all sorts of noises waking See, me up in the morning at my house. But Whining pigs, that's one of them. It's just a barnyard. Mm. Yeah, no, it actually With is. an old woman that inexplicably lives in the house. <laughs> but, but she is mad. I do oh, love yeah. her. Yeah, she's great. But now that your parents aren't here <clears throat> and I think can't relay watching. this to Benoit. Yeah. What are you going to say? I, I think her dad's her watching. cooking is terrible. <laughs> It's okay. sitting. So bad. Is it real? Really? No, it's okay. It's only because she has that mentality of don't waste anything. So she will cook like a huge batch of food and it won't be eaten over a couple of days. And then she'll just kind of like use that to cook the next thing. Oh, <laughs> shit. Like a master stock. But a lot a of master <laughs> stock. I guess, do they do that in restaurants? Well, I was going to say, a lot of Japanese restaurants actually do that. There's a lot of, like, the top, like, top ramenu restaurants of Tokyo have, like, a master stock that's been used for, like, 100 years. So, that, like, if it's done right. Wait, so what's the master stock? They just put all the leftovers on plates into a boiling <laughs> no. pot. No. No, 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 no. I think they leave it in the huge pot or something, right? They, and then they, just, like, continually add things that's what they do. into it. That's what they do. They continue. They just keep a base stock that they kind but of. But I would assume they, like. 100-year-old <laughs> stock. Yeah, dude. That's a thing. I think that's how it tastes that's so thing. good. That's a thing, But yeah. I would assume that they refrigerate it properly, right? Yes, I and, would assume and that. like all that sort. Of, or, but anyway, unless, my grandma yeah. doesn't do that How do you sometimes. Keep something fresh that's a hundred years old because you take a little bit out. You take some out and then add stuff. It's like an organism. If you if you have like an half organi- a cup, organism, really? Well, yeah. I mean, fucking things ferment miso. This is all like these are all miso is fermented. Yeah, these are all fermented. Yeah, these anyway. are all fermented. They're like living things, kind of like they have 
they have a, a culture, the cultures in them. So if you take, let's say this is a thing of stock, you can drink half of it and then add fresh stock to that. That's going to last, you know, another week. Really? So it's just a really hot coral reef. Yeah. It's like you keep it. Yeah, exactly. You like keep it going. As long as you take some out, uh, because you have to sort of, you have to replenish it. You're replenishing mm. it with fresh stuff. So it's kind of just I like think, fresh. Keep yeah. it fresh. Keep it hundred year. There's ones in hundreds of years old. It's crazy. I, I think Isn't like that incredible. Yes. I wonder what the oldest stock in the world is. It would be fucking mm. old. But I mean, like that's old. why they do, that's what they, they do, do for like fur and stuff. Yeah, they do it with fur. fur. Stock. They do it yeah. with fur. Same thing. That one. That's sort of <laughs> the older it is. I think yeah. the tastier it is. Yeah. Welcome to the living room. The um, more you know. But the thing is, your grandma is living testament to the fact that it is not. Yes. Well, I <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think she does it right. She sounds no, like she just no, puts no. like claw hammers in. It's like, <laughs> did you take out some and then level it out 50% of new shit? Like, no, no time. No. Well, it's just like <laughs> she did. Just... smash crab. Did you cook it? No time. <laughs> What do you do all day? <laughs> Sit around. Yeah. How do you not have time? <laughs> no, she just has this like real old woman Vietnamese villager mentality. I get that. Of, peasant, like, no, yeah. yeah. My yeah. parent my parents of came not from like wasting families. any food, but totally. also back then, you know, like no fridges and stuff too. So she just kind of like leaves things outside. And um Does she know the fridge exists? <laughs> she just leaves it out. Yeah, so when I come home, I'll have to be like, oh, okay, let's put this in the fridge. But I can already imagine and, the kind of person yeah. she is like impulsive. You know, like uh, no, she's just she's just tough. Yeah, but like she can uh, eat that stuff because her stomach can oh, so handle it. She just doesn't it. give a shit. She's not. She doesn't get bored by it. She just doesn't care. Yeah, she just doesn't care. Like she was like the resistance village resistance leader. Oh, so she's just sort of like it Vietcom. takes me back to the war. I like old crab legs that have been out for a week. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, she'll just like. She'll I mean, just my, eat it. yeah, my my dad was in the army, and he has a little bit of that. Where like his favorite meal is. Tin sardines on bread. Yeah. That's not from the army. That's just coming from Eastern Europe. Maybe it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what my mum lived off all throughout her university years. Oh, really? Apparently, she claims she never had another meal. What do you mean? I don't actually think that's true. Wait, what you do you know what? what? That doesn't sound too bad. It's actually, if you don't mind smelling a fish, uh, you can do voice. Sardines are not my it? choice. Sardines are not my choice. I'd rather go some other... Fish, but you know, well, it does yeah, the job. like I used to eat it growing up. You know what I like? Sardines. Yeah. What the hell? Small. Yeah. You're not from Eastern Europe. Well, the, yeah, but like, <laughs> that's you know, not we didn't have that much money. Asian <laughs> people <laughs> eat. <What? laughs> it's a cheap fish. It was that's eaten the cheap. world over. Yeah. Um, you know what? I, you know, it's my little Jordan will like this. What? Smoked mussels in a can. That's my go-to. Okay, all right. Well, I'm we really just hit that one out of the park, didn't we? I wasn't <laughs> expecting that at all. No, you weren't. Wait, yeah. You know that that was like? What? That was like yeah. getting punched <laughs> in the face by Conor McGregor and then thinking, all right, I'm just going to turn my head and oh, my Tyson's behind me. There we go. <laughs> Way worse. Wait, did you guys... <laughs> Did you guys eat this on the pot or something? Nah, or I just smoked it. mussels. I'm not doing that. I ate it Well, regularly. I thought it was just one of those things where, you know, I'll try making an eel pie and eating it. Like That's not no, that was just trying regular. it out. For this <laughs> I, no, I so that was just a regular a, meal that you brought in one day? my bags yeah. of lettuce. If he doesn't have tinned mussels. mussels. Smoked. Tin smoked, smoked mussels. Mu- Fuck. It's so good. You can feel your nostrils <laughs> flaring just at the thought of that, right? What, okay. It's so good. What was it out like, of 10? Yes, yes. It smells like a latrine. Yes. You actually... <laughs> a what? It was latrine. good. What the fuck Was it good? That? Military toilet. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Well, fair. Sorry. It's probably growing Out of 10? <laughs> what, in terms of like the best food in the world? Or can I actually rate it on like the canned food scale? Um, it's a little no, bit no, no, no. Best food in the world. Okay. Well, that's not fucking fair. So, what, like, so, so, like, you know, I have to compare that to like a really good bowl of like ramen or something. Yeah, yeah, no. Yes. I'll do both. How about that? Yeah, do both. Ah. Why not both? I'll give you the well, good one first. It's such a stupid rating. No, it's In not. In comparison to canned shepherd's pie, <laughs> canned mussels are all right. Well, I mean, what other canned well, what food would better? there be? Tuna? No, there's um, heaps. Spam. Yeah, but this week um, we did a review of it and his editor refuses to oh, do it. Oh, so you actually... 
Are you going to be done a video on this? Yeah, yeah but, 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 it'll probably lose subs, he's too, but whatever. Fuck That's what that. Who gives a shit? Eel. Go and watch the eel review right now and get the numbers up. You wrong ungrateful with you people. pricks. Um, the eel one. We yeah. Love you. They sacrificed an That's eel so for that. so annoying. You were there. You helped. Anyway, look. Out yeah, of, and it was horrifying. But it was. Because Jordan couldn't handle it. Yeah, he couldn't. I could barely handle it. But anyway, best food in terms of the best food in the world, the cans. That's hard. Um, best food in the world. I mean, nah, just do it out of the cans. Best food in the world would be, you know, three out of ten, three and a half. Yeah, okay. But in terms of the canned food variety, like nine and a half. Nine and a half? Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. Is it better than canned peaches? You know me too well. They over that. That's that's that. that half. That's the ten. That's the half. Yeah, oh, that's, that's the ten. Any other that, that's tin, the, Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this has. As always, instigated a flurry of comments saying can love. Oh, fuck. They love it. They love it. <laughs> Did you hear my ratings? And I guess we're just going to have to end on that because it is 9.30. It is 9.30. Well, that just flew by. Didn't that, that, that just flew by. Tong, you were a very respectful guest. Yes, you were. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Thank you so much for respecting me <laughs> and no worries. Jimmy's uncle Jimmy's. You respected him as well. Do you respect me? <laughs> I do. Um, I'm glad you got that on the record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, we've had six, six, six viewers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, we'll play us out. We had some fun. Shall we dance out like how I dance? Yeah. To get into yeah, this country? No, no, no. It's, it was, you have to do a little bit of a wiggle. Thank you for joining us, everybody. <laughs> okay. Like and subscribe. You don't like this thing. Uh, <laughs> tune in next week. Follow us on the Uplate Patreon. <laughs> Join in. It's worth it. Get extra content, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna try More to finish this, this. except uh, for without the visuals. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scooch over to the left. You keep dancing while I finish this, cause I've never done this before. All right, Good night, people. Congratulations <laughs> on the promotion, miss. Thank you. <laughs> no, we're not. I'm going to the toilet.